Are you transcribing? What? Are you going to transcribe? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I thought, uh, well, when we have the, 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 the title of the tournament already, now we need to <laughs> Hello. Yeah, and I'm sure. Are we? Are we live? Sorry. Yes, we are live. Oh wow. Okay, guys. We have a huge match coming up. Two giants of backgammon. We have, uh, of course, Mochi. We all know Mochi, two-time world champion. Yeah, and we got Dan Rivera here. Dan. Hi, Mark. Hi. Good to have you here. Yeah. Joining the commentary booth. Fantastic. Glad to be here. Happy uh, to join in. Uh -huh. <laughs> Me too. Happy, to, happy that you're here. So we've got a, a heck of a match. Oh, amazing match. Amazing match. So the thing is that uh, Peter Jess Thompson, not many people know, but he's actually absolutely world class. He is all the way up there, but not know, too many people know because he, he won the world championship, I th believe it was 1993, when he was like 20 years old or something. Right? And he was like a phenom at that time. He was one of these young guys out of Copenhagen alongside Gus Hansen, Mess Anderson, Morten Holm. And then he kind of like drew back in the zeros and we didn't really hear much of him. And all of a sudden he shows up like this old Zen monk from the monastery <laughs> in, in Japan or whatever. Come back with a title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've seen world champion the world champion. Right? It is. It is. I mean, yeah. It's going to be a, a fight, you know. It will. I'm, we know that Mochi plays uh, like a machine, basically, right? Yeah. But I'm very curious to see how uh, how Peter is going to do against basically the toughest opponent in the world. So we should see what, like sub sub three PRs, you think in this? I one? think so. That's at least what I expect from both players. So every now and then. A thing will pop up something about you're going to lose power because of an Android thing. What you have to do is just hit the power button on here to stop that from happening. Power button, okay. Okay. The power button right here. Okay. You know, it's just going to shut off and then you just hit it right back on. Okay. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Just that, what, what would you be aware of? And try not to say anything stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I got to get together. We have got to get to catch up, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, make sure Good we, to see we'll, you. We'll make I mean, a date. Definitely. I'm here all week, man. So. Okay. It may not be I the meal. Pineapple it last night. Uh, uh, like uh, normally, yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, tweak it, but oh, yeah, yeah. it's going to be hopefully close. Pretty close? Or pretty good? Very good. Very good. Okay. Four. Okay. Five. Uh huh. How do you clear it? Oh, okay. That's so good. Two finger tap. Yeah, that's amazing. So you could especially just throw pitches, but a hot time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty yeah. hear us? <laughs> I, I, we are live right now. We are live. Yeah. <laughs> we are live. Okay, guys, so we are just getting ready to, to start the match. We're trying out the Telecaster here. So we've got this uh, nice little. The yeah, I'm excited. Great energy of the tournament, Mark. First time here. Yes. What do you think so far? Uh, okay. Nice hey. job you and the team have done. Huh? Your audio is not on, but now it is. Oh, <laughs> so all this time, Dan's audio was not on. Okay. It's, uh, great energy here of the tournament, Mark. Doing yeah. a great job. Um, room looks amazing. Just great energy. Big family. Community spirit. Yes. Really good. It's a, it's a very special event, this World Championship here. The 54th edition. It's amazing. It's the longest uh, historical lineage of any back end tournament. So everyone wants a title, right? Yeah, that's it. And this is the World Championship title. <laughs> and you let us All right. Okay, we're about to start. Yeah, um, excited. So, Dan, if you can have an eye for the co YouTube comments, maybe uh, I'll if, keep if an there eye are some on interesting there, yeah. questions I or comments. fellow Brits in there, yeah. Perfect settings from Jens Avakam. We've got the 2 1 okay. slotting opening it's from Mochi. Play, yeah. Let's see if, yeah, if Peter knows this one. That's the play. That's yeah, the play. That's right. Opening theory. Yeah, so. You can't hit the blot and cover, right? At the same time. So. This is what uh, Roberti calls the half and half play in his opening book. Okay. What about the four? Right. You have to play one down, right? Yes. Um, Maybe if I check her in. Or you you or could play uh, something like this, but it's a little bit ugly. Let's, yeah. I, I like Mochi's play a lot. 
it's not a beauty contest, but some things look better than others, right? <laughs> so. uh -huh. We see the, the PR actually went up a little bit for Mochi. Maybe it was a close play with the four, uh, how to play the four there. Okay, we've got the XG feed coming through. That's nice. Yeah. It's the first match with the XG feed. Okay, so here Peter's going to make a small error here. He's going to make a small yeah, error. You always. It's a little bit overextended. He's giving himself a, yeah, a lot of shots to... Um, it's quite a few blots. And the thing is that Peter with this stack here in the six point, it, it's a little bit inefficient in terms of priming. And if he had more a more efficient structure, maybe he could make like a pure play like he just did. But 4-2 plays well. Now he has a rack formation. He's, he's got the rack. I think Mochi's going to run here. So here, this rack can lead to a lot of efficient cubes as well when you start having this powerful front structure. That is, that's right. Look at this one. Mochi is looking at uh, the deuce point. That seems like an odd play. You're facing a priming threat over here. Right. So I would just run and make get out of there. Play, yeah, yeah. Right. Simply just to gain freedom, to not get trapped. Choose a duplicate to make the bar, right, as mm -hmm. well. So. Well, he's still thinking about it. It's a 15-point match, the first round of the High Roller, Patty Rubin High Roller Tournament. And we've got, I believe we've got 13 players in the tournament already, and we're going to get a couple of rebuys. So There's probably going to be a 16-player, 7,500 euro tournament buy-in. So that means we've got way more than 100,000 euro in the, in the prize pool. That's, so it's really high stakes. Uh, we've got Arthur in the background. <laughs> yes, we've got so a lot of background noise. We're going to get the, the cube coming in soon, yeah. That was a great roll. Maybe it's a good roll, above average roll there, nine pips. Yeah, I mean, it's not a joke or anything, but we got, we're going to see a cube here from no. Peter. I don't think it matters really what Mochi played, because now he's going to have a pass. 17 pips in a one-man back position it's just a little bit too much yeah but it's 30, 13 pips so right i guess oh it's 13 not 17 he's got the goalkeeper but, but yeah it's but still a pass right? the, yeah 13 pips in a position like this you need to have race value because a one man back is vulnerable to getting blitz attack doesn't have the contact value of an anchor like if you have an anchor here instead you know that's a different story you got contact value but not in this case the contact actually favors peter it's a good pass by mochi so here, uh, and the fin maybe remove a logo that is covering Peter's PR. It's, we can't see Peter's PR. Right now. I think it was around a three point something. Okay. He made that one mistake where he brought two men down from from the midpoint rather than playing eight to five with a three. Oh. But nothing big so far. No blunders by either player. Yeah. What you playing? playing exceptionally well, and yes, it's a fifteen point match, so standard reply. <laughs> Double one is yeah. Now we have to four prime. So again, white is just kind of dominating, really. This uh, definitely game is... this beautiful flat structure. I'm not sure. He said that, but I. I looks okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, what's the viewers like on this, man? Like, how many we got watching? Can you see it? Okay, 370 400. watching, guys. Yes. Smash that like button, right? Yes, smash that <laughs> like button. Okay, so what do we got here? I think Mochi needs to come out with a six. I don't really see any other six. And then with a five, you could either make a tempo hit or you can simply just play positionally sound and play er 13. I think the tempo is good when he has the other blocked and he had failed to pick up here. You're just giving him a lot of shots. He's got fives and sevens. Yeah, look at this. So he has eight to hit the other block. It's just too that many That is numbers. the right play. This is very interesting. Mochi is going to be up slightly in the race here, which is an indicator that it's okay to make an impure play like this. Usually when you're behind in the race, you don't want to play impure. Yeah. Yeah, he moves it back. Definitely worth thinking about, right? That's got to be the six, you, you know? know. he's got. Yeah. With a deeper point, it's kind of blitzy, the structure, right? And he could easily get some bad... White could have some bad sequences on re-entering. Yes, that's true. And, you know. And I think 
it's not just about giving bad sequences. Of course, that's that that is a, a factor here. But if you don't hit, White has so many good rolls. Yeah. You know, he can hit with a five. He can hit with a seven. Uh, he can escape the rear checker, hit out here. So he's, White has got so many good rolls. Oh, there's this weird play. It's <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, that dilly build there. And here, is just you, know, wrong. you get some balls and, you know, you're going to have inflexibility on, on rolls coming forward. And yes. Maybe even this would be a cube after this. I play. think I think it might be a cube yeah. if he makes this play. Yeah. I think this might be a cube. Uh, because Peter just has full outfield control. No, he can come down with this. He can come down with this, and then just start building his prime. Absolutely, uh, you kind of play to win. You play not to lose, right? <laughs> so you've That's got to right. Make the um, got to jump the prime. It's a crime not to jump the prime, right? <laughs> it is a crime not to jump the prime. I think I think Mochi's going to find the best play here, but it's a tough one. It's a hard. It's a big decision. Yeah, it but, is. Well, anything else is a pretty much a blunder, right? Even the second yeah. best play is. It, it's almost a blunder. Yeah. So Mochi, Mochi got to realize that it's it's actually quite risky not to hit here because you're giving so many good rolls away to the enemy. Yeah. And if he hits there, he also slots the back of a prime. So it's not a good place to get hit. That's right. And look at the stack up here. You know, he really wants to unstack with a hit. That would be the best. Great play. Great man. play, Mochi. Good work. Very good work. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent find. The vast majority of players and would have just played 13 8. plays pretty badly when that, he enters low. Right? Exactly. And now Black's kind of in control here. He's got ones. I, I think, five. didn't Peter just miss a cube? I think he might have just missed a cube. A, oh, we did, we didn't get to. Jumped up to nine, yeah. Yeah, I think he just missed a cube there from the bar. I think the volatility was there. Uh, yeah, what about now? Five. Well, you just make the ice, right? Six. Usually um, right to make the ace. Yeah, usually it's best to just fill it up. Just tidy up a little bit. Tidy up, yeah. Yeah. And this is no exception. Particularly if he hits you, you get a return, you want the, the three-point board, and then... This is a bit stiff. This is a bit stiff. You you didn't clean up your liability down here, and it's a little bit too inflexible. Ah, oh, first mistake by Mochi. Yeah. First like mistake. That. Nope. Again, Peter might have had a cube here. And then he's got to run that guy, yeah, so now, I mean... And now he lost his market by a mile. Yeah, it's fast <laughs> right now. I think Peter just missed another cue. Even after a double five, he, he can't take this. Right? Peter had the priming threat. I, I think I would have found those cubes, to be honest. Yeah. That priming threat. You've now it's got to slow down, right? I think when you play, just every breath, every, every go is a cube decision, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Especially in a match like this. Yeah. Um, but I think Peter did think about it. I just, he probably underestimated how strong his position actually was. Even though he's down in the race, it's not even about the race. It's the fact that he's, he's trying to be behind yeah, yeah. the prime, right? So, in a priming battle, it's yeah. not necessarily bad to this be behind like, in the race. Um, I like he's almost too good. Right? That's what he's con contemplating here because it's, it's, it has very little risk taking a role. It also doesn't have many gammons in the position, but usually the risk side of the equation is more important. Yeah. And it's very risk low risk to take a role here almost no risk first game syndrome we've got in the comments yeah that happens right i mean hey yeah if it was a pr tournament you could just keep playing the out right get a lot of easy <laughs> decisions to white mm -hmm. so yeah he is playing on for two good mm -hmm. and i guess he can he can always cash in if that's right black steps up he has an efficient cube if mochi was to roll a two six or even just step up, yeah. Yeah, this is probably too good now. Mochi lost the midpoint, which means that Peter can play freely. But now he doesn't have the uh, the slot anymore, you know. He picked up the slot. I mean, it probably doesn't matter much whether he doubles or not. It's got so little volatility, this position. So it's probably going to be too good next time or yeah. like double double pass next time. Yeah, we can so, see the yeah, equities. Again, it's one of those that it's you don't double, you do double. And it's... Yeah. <laughs> you can, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, Mochi it's knows. It's not even worth wasting the, the clock time on, on things like this. No, but Peter's trying to play accurately. So here I say, Andreas, Peter plays so fast, that's a problem. Yeah, right? you got to slow down on those cube decisions. Peter actually, uh, when you think about the top players of the world, 
I think Peter is one of the fastest in terms of how quick they roll, how quick they move. He loves to play fast. What but do you he, think that is, Mark? I think, I think it's because he grew up playing money game. Yeah, you know, you want to yeah. maximize turnover, you know? You want to play as many games as possible. Yeah. And you, it's better to get your opponent to play even faster as well. You know, his air rate is going to go up you way more than his. Off, right? I set the tempo of the match and then you make that's, errors, right? That's yeah. right. But this is mochi, you know? This is a different story. This is not a money <laughs> not game. It's not going to happen. <laughs> nah. I know, okay. right? It's, there it is. It's come swinging, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it's a massive, massive pass. But now the double's more clear, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mochi's inner board got a little bit stronger right, and so the race got closer, so he just cast the coup. Cast cashed the point. Peter takes a uh, a 2 0 lead. Mm -hmm. Okay, still long match, anything can happen. Okay. So it's seven and a half thousand euro buy in for this tournament. Wow, it's high stakes. It's high stakes. I think it's yeah. around seventy thousand euro. Or maybe even eighty thousand euro to the winner. Okay, fine. that's pretty impressive. So and, it's you know, basically the same as winning the world championship main event. World's best, yeah. That's what's so great about Monte Carlo. You just get the strongest players facing off against each other, right? Yes. Last night was Victor and Will. Great uh -huh. match. Definitely check that one out, guys. Yeah, me and Sander did the commentary. On oh that yeah, night. that was a lot a of fun. Great collaboration, and nice to see Sander on the commentary. Yes, he's not easy to get, <laughs> get <laughs> yeah, persuaded. But it? when I told him who was playing, he said, "Okay, I'll do it. This is a cool match." And just to set up, Bill and Tara are doing a great job, man. Getting this all. Yeah. It's nice to step up to twenty-two. Get some daylight. Uh huh. Get a good six. Yes. Two-one. Can't do much with this. Yes, we just played. Uh, is there any creative way to play this? Oh, I think you can hit. You oh. duplicate the freeze to hit from the mid, and also that's interesting. To make it's quite good. I, that's a difficult play to find. I mean, most players would just normally we just don't do like this to hit right? on the free, particularly in opening replies, because it's a yeah. bit deep for points. Yes, but here the duplication is is pretty good. Yeah, that's the normal play. Like Peter made. Okay, uh, me too. Right. Three two. It's not the prettiest. Yeah. So I guess we anchor up with the deuce and play the three down. I don't really see much else. Do we have any other options here? We don't want to stack. We don't want to stack the six point. I think you have to anchor, even though White's only got eight in his own. It's still. What about this play, Dan? Yeah, I like the anchor. You don't want to give him a good double three, double five, right? So Joker sequences. Yeah, we we see the computer analysis. It, it's just the the simple move. Oh, anchor up and bring a builder down. Notice that uh, Peter's blot is down on the two point, which means it doesn't have daylight. The sixes are blocked as well as the fours. Mm. So it's it's much more safe to to play thirteen ten. It means it's just a few extra fly shots. Yeah. The position of a back checker is important, right? On the 22 point is like the ideal spot. Yes. Is. That's right. That's right. For, for White's point of view, because on the 22 point, it's launch ready. It can jump with a six. Mm -hmm. That's why we actually go down and attack it often when it's on the three point. This is what I call the red zone. This is the yellow zone where we sometimes attack. And down here, that's the green zone where we're not aggressive down yeah, there. We just right. leave him. We got him where we want him. I like that. And in Masterclass, you talk about those action zones, right? When you're playing. That's right. Like, yes. There's different zones. I, I divide the board. Like, this is the front position. That's where the priming and, and blitzing is going on. We've got the back position over here. And then we've got the middle position out here. Yeah. That's a nice way to think about where you are in the game. Yeah. Okay. Good hit. Yeah, that's a good roll. Important okay. rehit. In and hit. It's good. It's double four. Okay. Wow. Double four. It's a little bit awkward, right? It's got to bring. Well, I mean, I think he has to hit for tempo reasons, but look at this super stack. No, I'm wrong. It I is the super stack that needs to be dealt with. It's so much more efficient, and you block sixes as well from the back, yeah. right? So yes. Hey, yeah, like just switching the eight for the four point, it's like you're not making new points, you're just exchanging, right? The yeah. thing that I first 
thought about this position was there's so much attack potential here that could fall into our face here. So I, wa I wanted to make the tempo hit in one way or the other. But then when you think a little bit deeper about the position, you realize this is the problem. We've got a super stack yeah. and we just rolled the perfect number to both prime and unstack. And it's so efficient, yeah. You've got to see where your stacks are. That's why in the opening game, you often play from a six, right? You know, you yeah. want to basically use your checkers efficiently. Well, yeah, you play from the mid and you play from the six. That's where you got the two stacks. It's such an important principle. It just looks so ugly after making a four point, right? You yes. End up in a really. And you don't really have the la you you give up your eight point, and then where to play the last four? Yeah. You know you're gonna give a bunch of shots actually when you do this and play with two blocks. So it's it's no good. You get spares on the eight and nine to make for five and four with a bar next roll, right? And and sixes play awkwardly for black. He's stripped on the mid. It's rather awkwardly, yes. Yeah, you mean, it's you know, awkward, you're yes. moving into like a, a Cuban position, right? And. Well, uh, maybe not a cubing decision. Yeah, that's the play. Good play, yeah, Peter. Not Very good with the play. anchor, but still, it's yeah. it's moving in that direction, right? Okay. Oh, three, here, four. here's a dilemma for Mochi. Here's a true dilemma. I think down in the race, he just makes a five, right? But he he might. Yeah, I think that's yeah. you got you got to do this. But he he might he might look at the hitting play, because here I mean, yeah look four six three. Wow, that's big. Mo yeah. Mochi will make the best play here. He's just going to have a look at this. I predict that he's going to have a look at the hitting play as well. And then he's going to return to the original play where you just make the five point. Yeah. Right. If you were up in the race, you'd, ma you'd be making the 18, right? If you're up in the race, making the 18 makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't completely right there. I, I predicted that he would have a look at the hitting play as well. But Mochi didn't. Okay. He didn't flinch. So and White is up 14 pips. Uh huh. So that's a crucial hit, huh? Really good, because there, you know, 14, 15 pips, you're kind of getting holding game cube territory, right? I mean, it's what you're looking for. Crucial hit. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been close to cu cubing territory. Wow, oh, hit, wow. Uh, dancing. Now that is a huge dance. Yeah. And Mochi is going to lift. Oh, point. is he? He has got two good plays here, Mochi. Coming around the corner, liberating a back checker is also a great play. Let's quickly, let, I still hope, playing sub three. I, I think it's correct to make the four, but I'm not entirely sure. So now, White is in trouble, right? Being now on the front of a prime, it's not a good place to be resting. No. Yeah. Oh, use the hint button. We, we need to get. We need to get this message across to the transcriber, Michael Krakos. He needs to use the hint button. We didn't get to see what, what the best play was here. Uh, but yeah. Mochi's error rate didn't go up, so I assume he made the best play. I I, I was pretty certain, actually, that yeah. it was the best play, but it, I would have liked to see how far behind running from it's 21 nice to give our feedback. 21 to 12 would have so, been. Wow, so black hits and then diversifies or make the anchor yeah isn't isn't anchoring shifting your anchor higher priority yeah, i with think the six is blocked I, I think it's better to see the daylight yes yeah, exactly right. it simply takes priority Two six is awkward here as well yeah okay Thanks guys for a shout out on my channel there. Check it out guys, Backgammon is beautiful. Like and subscribe, it's a big UK channel. Got interviews on there with a lot of GMs. A lot of learning content on there. Backgammon is beautiful. Alright, so he's thinking with a six. It's not really... He's thinking of hitting, right? Because we're blotting board. Yes. Duplicates freeze. There's a duplication and there's some tempo in hitting, but you know, you don't want to risk getting that second man back. Yeah, particularly against a stronger board, right? It's yes. Always board consideration is a massive part of your game, right? Every time we assess risk, basically, we're, yeah. we're comparing who has the stronger inner board. It's just risk rewards, right? It's like economics back then. <laughs> it's a kind of, <laughs> you're weighing up the risks and rewards in the position, but. It's a common error, right? Not looking at your opponent's board, right? Like yeah. actually looking at the board before you make your play. But uh, Peter is too experienced to make that kind of rookie mistake. He knows all the details here. He sh should be tuned into the game. And to be honest, it's not an easy decision. I think a lot of players would make a mistake here. 
hitting. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he makes I the think hit. He thinks it, it's like he thinks it is a tempo, right? Yes. To stop him, but he, it's not the right he's idea. He's scared of the blitz attack that might occur over here. Uh, so he takes away the tempo, but it's too but now big. Two back, it's you're risking the race. Okay. Also, yes. the match lead. You know, you're looking for stability, yeah, less volatility in the position. You just want simpler games when you're leading. You know. Well, it's a small lead, right? Two zero to fifteen. Yeah, it's it's, 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 tiny, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Maybe it's right. I'm not being over it, no. <laughs> cautious yeah okay so mochi is having a look at the okay. fun play here this is wow. not the, the no, it's i mean it's great to hit but the problem is that he's giving up contact on that blot over here he want to be greedy he wants to stay down here yeah. so you get the contact the next contact time contact zone right which is yeah. why white hitting there it's a bit of a liability in the position right because now he has to cover it yeah he's got this beautiful play at his disposal yeah but that's just coming much. In. he will oh. see all the candidate plays right yeah why those are and look at this beautiful structure that mochi's got here flat and concrete structures that's what the checkers desire three is a, is a good roll he covers brings another one down you're leaving black though some rolls here right what Big about six. cube action here for mochi cube action yeah 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 yeah, yeah. good cube there's a lot that's of market losing good. potential yeah. here He's got the attack numbers down here, 6-4, double four, double six, double two, double one point shift. He's got the 6-3 and double three hits over here, the double six and double four. No, sorry, double four doesn't hit, but double six hits. Well, so we've right. got a lot yeah. of like lot any of numbers hit in the dance is any in the, hit yeah losing sequence, even like a right? four one you hit loose and you you split your anger it's a pretty good role you know and here you can just use you know o'hagan's law and just go through do you have nine market losing sequences right it's a good way to think about the position that's true o'hagan's law is good here. it's uh for I newer players right you can just see how many roles good take peter for you and then the opponent yes right the, the key for take, the yeah. key for peter here is that he's actually ahead in the race five pips wow six four that's it's Killer Four is a crusher, yeah, and now it's it's a big pass. Now thing. it's a huge pass. <laughs> you know, oh. so that's a great time to double, right? If you get a sequence, which that leads to a pass, is the sweet spot. You want to double before you lose your market. Yeah, and now white, you know, over a gammons here because white still has a lot of checkers in the outfield to bring around. I think this is the play. That's why you diversify your back checkers the most. Yeah. Oh, I, interesting. The, I, ah, I think Mochi. you just break the anchor because here you don't want to give have a bad double five or something, you know. So you want the flexibility when he's on the bar. I I think it's uh, actually more a matter of getting that extra builder in. Usually this is a little bit overrated. Players do overdo it. They underdo the connectivity part, flexibility part with the back checkers when you fighting for freedom, and they overdo bringing in attackers yeah uh, so sure. that's why i have a little bit of a bias here i like the flexible one like this play where you do I this you just jump uh, but the computer actually says that it's slightly better to play eight to four mm. with the four yeah this you, one that's nice flexibility you yes. don't get awkward rolls i know you talk a lot about mobility mark yes. as a concept really important concept right it mobility is. yeah actually i i think mobility is much more important than connectivity right in my opinion connectivity is more of a descriptive principle it's not so much a, a fundamental principle where mobility is you know because if you run out of mobility you crunch you crunch right yeah and you've got to preserve a prime in this yeah. this position right i mean we all know those games where you just get an awkward double sequence and yeah yeah it happens it's happened to all of us i know again here's this a little bit similar decision i would go for this ace here just to yeah. avoid those nasty crunching rolls he's only got double ace to worry about right and even then white would have two back yeah yeah okay we can it's, see it's, it's borderline but it's i like the play problem. yeah nice yeah. mochi good, goes for the good mobility review. move as well rather than maximizing attack potential <laughs> And with one and okay. yeah that's exactly the play. get that out yes. lovely nothing yep. to worry about nothing right worry about two on the bar <laughs> one uh-huh it was a good take it's just that much it happened to roll one of the best <laughs> yes numbers to follow yeah, yeah. yeah. six four was a destroyer I so here it doesn't really matter too much what Mooks is playing. Here you don't mind making the bar because you the double still play. Oh yes. Right? You, of you course. Double three. <laughs> One, two. Enjoyed it. 
three. Why not just get the last one out of there as well? I mean, what do you think the gammons are here? The gammons are very big. It's probably <laughs> yeah. like a well after. I mean, it's probably like seventy-five percent. Yeah, eighty percent maybe. Super high, right? Super high. Two he in did, a bar. And I mean, the only thing is seven. that he didn't close out this one point yet, so Peter still has a chance of making I mean, an eight point. But it's uh, okay. There we go. Okay, now, now it's, it's uh, <laughs> what is it? Eighty, eighty percent. Yeah, like huge, that? right? Thanks, guys, in the chat. What have we got? A lot of gammons, Andreas. Yes, absolutely. Hi, Mark. Dan Rivera here with Mark Olsen. It's cool. We've got an app there for the new Bagamon Galaxy app. Well, it's not that new anymore, but it is kind of new because we yeah. just released a bunch of new features. Board colors, avatars. We changed the, uh, the filtering mechanism for rating games and coin games. So if you haven't already downloaded it, go download the You've app. got star membership on there now, Mark. Oh, yeah, yeah. we've got star membership. So What's that? We, well, that you get a deeper analysis. You get 4ply or even XG plus analysis. That's the star plus Amazing, membership. yeah. So you've got a leading app now, right? A leading Bagamon app. Not yet. There Not are yet. a couple like, of apps out there that has millions of users. Wow, Those okay. are the ones we want to go out and compete against, but they don't have analysis. They don't have all yeah. this kind of cool stuff that we have. You know? The GMs playing on your site. That's yeah. a big, you know, it's a big deal. You know, you can actually play against the top players in the yeah. world in the Galaxy. And uh, you don't play against bots. You will only play against human players. Yeah, that's, that's good. Another thing these other apps are doing, you, they, they match you up against bots because they just think about turnover. They don't care about whether you have a good actually a real match going right so just having the analysis setting is huge right you've got to look at your match afterwards if you really want to improve you need to put that way to time improve. in you know it is really the best way to improve it's like for every hour you play there needs to be an hour of, of that analysis right <laughs> <laughs> that's well what. i i would i <laughs> that ambitious yeah. I, I i can't say that i'm that ambitious yeah. but i would say probably mm, three to one ratio play to another one sure. wow look at he keeps dancing Peter. yeah this is i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> the just gammons are just all over this aren't they but oh he keeps dancing oh he has a chance gosh, I mean, a, a double from mochi and he gets a shot no it doesn't happen okay well who dances again <laughs> <laughs> then the backgammon is into the picture Okay. There is a freak backgammon. There is lurking. a freak backgammon, yeah. Two, you know. Yeah, it's still alive. It's still don't, alive. Don't roll a 2 you one, Peter. Gosh. Don't roll a 2 1. Oh, the 2. Ah, oh, five, two. All right. Okay. So that's <laughs> yes, four yeah. points to much here. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. So 11 away, 13 away. So you can kind of treat it a bit like money, right? Until he gets to a short and match them. Yes. I mean, it does matter that little score differential in terms of how you adjust your cube strategy but not a whole lot mm -hmm. i would say it's more on the recubes mm -hmm. there it actually matters a lot yeah but, then you uh, need to think about um, the efficiency of a cube right and yeah. but in terms of initial cubes there's not going to be a whole lot of adjustments going on yet right hey he likes to split peter's grinding down the um the PR yeah, it's going to come down, of course. Yeah, Six three. That's in. Very nice. Uh -huh. You just bring another guy into his zone there. You know. Two Good punishment. See. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Two and a bar, but White's got no home board, so this no, is nowhere near a cube. Yeah, no, yeah. Not even close. Yeah. White needs to develop something. That's not the best role for White. You want, he wanted to anchor up just... or he wanted to build something. And he can do neither. I prefer unstacking. I prefer this deuce. I think you play to 11, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so does the computer because. 6-4 is duplicated, right? You. This you is good. 6-4. Nice yeah, 6-4 is duplicated, that's right. And um, you need to develop something. Oh, there it is, 6-4. We've got someone asking in the chat how do you become a GM in Backgammon? <laughs> Mark, a, you can take that one. That's a good question. Yeah. Well, uh, the the most formal way is uh, through the federation called BMAP, the Gammon Masters Awarding Body. And they have some criteria you have to perform according to computer analysis to reach this level. Another way is uh, like the, there are different, there are other federations, like the Danish Bagamon Federations have their Grandmaster system. Bagamon Galaxy Online have their Grandmaster system. So I would say the most official one and the one we refer to is the B map, but Bagamon is not like chess, you know, it's, it has the randomness. 
That's I guess right. BMAP is the best we've got at this point, but yeah. usually when I say Grandmaster, I refer to their level of play. So for instance, Peter Jess Thompson, he's a Grandmaster in my book, but I don't think he has the BMAP certificate yeah, actually, because he doesn't play too many of these events where they come and record his Right, but even Will Snellings, you know, like he hasn't got the stamp, right? Yeah, but of course, there's you know, no question, yeah. He's <laughs> a Grandmaster, you know, 100%. Like, yeah. But still, it's a great privilege to have, and I know, you know, there's a lot of UK players got GM status, so that's fantastic. Uh, testament to their hard work, you know. Okay, double four. Wow. Yeah. One stack. Oh, no, 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 Peter, no. Peter, we... Peter, I was just going to count the race, but the problem is that no, Peter, it's not... oh, wait, 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 he stops, he stops. Good, Peter. Hang on, you unstack. You, this, this anchor here is an asset. This, you don't need to run. You're too underdeveloped to just run. You're going to leave shots yeah. in the future. It's really six That's sixes plus, you know, six three yeah. and stuff. Yeah. That was an ugly blunder. Because now Black stands. can just stay back, right? As that uh -huh. goalkeeper. And Wiley's just going to have to, like, leave shots with a lot of rolls here. Peter's logic was, I'm ahead in the race. Let me break contact and yeah. get into a race. But the problem is... Black has a perfect holding game here with an yeah. anchor and a goalkeeper, and Peter's so underdeveloped, so he's going to leave shots. Yeah. He should have used this role to develop his position. That's and right. And just stay back, stay on that beautiful anchor here that you just established on the bar point. And also that double anchor there, the 13-14, is difficult to clear, right? It Having is. Having those two That's points right. together. It's not like he's just cruising home to freedom. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. He just, okay. He does it again. Well, now it's yeah. uh, much easier. And here, what do you think um, about the cube with 19 pips up? Okay, let's have a look. In this position, actually, you know what? It's not going to be a cube. The goalkeeper is too powerful right here. Yeah, you can take deeper, uh, right? You can when take you deeper. It, mm. So what matters more when you're facing a holding game with a goalkeeper is your level of development of your front position. And Peter is still too underdeveloped. He's got the stack here. He's got the gap on the five. Yeah, I think he correctly waits. Just waits a little bit. I don't yeah. think it's horrible to cube. Maybe even if you're an un inexperienced player, I would maybe even recommend to cube. But they, these guys are trying to play as accurately as possible. Maybe so waiting until Black runs out of timing a bit more before you get the cube in, right? Because it could be there, there. There's a couple of triggers here. Either Black could get into timing trouble, or White is getting ready to launch an attack. And this is what we're seeing here. Look at this extra attacker mm -hmm. that. Uh, that um, okay, Peter's so. getting here, so and he has attackers here as well. Uh, he's got an attacker here in the eight. So this could be getting into. Okay, we see the result is not there yet, but we're getting into territory because at least we have that trigger where we have a potential attack. Yeah, that, those are the threats. I think it's a good rule of thumb though in these holding games when you have a blocking point six away, they are pretty much always takes, right? That's a great rule. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> always good to. And the goalkeeper here makes it even stronger. Uh, the holding game. Good good decision, Peter. You're too underdeveloped. Odd even number combinations not playing yeah. well in Peter's position. Yeah, that's a good point, Pete. Just so saw that. 6 2 is an. Bills, okay. there 12 players left starting in the high roller. Okay. I, I, I just heard that Sandra Lilov won his first round match. I'm not sure against who, but uh, he looked very happy and I asked him and he said he nodded. So he, uh -huh. he won his first match. 8 2 4 2, right? Yes. I don't see any other player. What is he thinking? The ten yeah. point, perhaps you're too underdeveloped, Peter. You need to get your, utilize your checkers a bit. They want to get. Uh, we saw that before, though, right? About efficiently using the stacks of checkers. So I think it was a position in a previous game where. Yes. I mean, gotta... if I had to name one principle of backgammon <laughs> strategy, it would be that checker utilization. Checker or utilization. What, what I love Roberti that, yeah. calls efficiency with you've the checkers. You've only got 15 guys in your army, right? You've yeah. got to use every one of those effectively. Yes. That's why we talk about dead checkers being oh, really so bad. It's that's like... the worst. That's the. That's the when you. Under under utilize your checkers the most. That's when you bury checkers. Yeah, sure. you know, there's not many, right? Yeah. And I think it's actually one of the trademarks of really strong players. They go out of their way to preserve the utility of their checkers. Yeah. Where lesser strong players, they just make some safe plays along the way. They don't even notice it. And then mm. they end up with bad structures in the end. Yeah, and bad structures leave shots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Basically, That's right. That's the problem. Yeah. And they don't block well as well. <laughs> yeah. And now look, why they stripped, right, in the outfield. 
T yeah. TMP, we got a lot of points uh -huh. that are stripped. I think uh, we're still one step short. Uh, we're getting closer, but we're still one step short. Here we can see that 6-1 is a bad number, yeah. you know. Actually, we got a little bit further away from the cube here. This, yeah, the strip point and the stacked six point is hurting yeah, Peter. Six like one. he would have wished that one of these uh, spare checkers, maybe one was on the eight point and one was on the four point or something like that. So we had better flexibility. Yeah, like five one, five two, right? Or like but a spare checker here and a spare checker here, for instance, mm. rather than this big stack oh, on the six so point. Even though the race lead, it's a, quite a brittle position for whites, right? You know, it's you, can, you can see that. Um, uh huh. Okay. Okay. What is white's got here? I'm not sure here. I'm not sure because. I think, I think you clear a 10 points, right? Because yeah. the 10 point lacks value when the four points made as well, right? That, it's that's a point, a point. I think another thing that's going on here, if he were to make the other play, clearing the eight point, you're getting, you're launching, you're getting ready to launch an attack, but all Mochi has to do is jump with a six and then he has a t great holding game and yeah. Peter is left with all these these two stranded blots that can't get home to safety. So we can see here white is barely the favorite yeah. even with this 20 pip lead just That's because right. of the inflexibility in yes. the position right? Could he have done anything about this Peter? <laughs> I, I'm not sure he made any mistakes. I no. think he's just ending he's up with a and maybe the double four actually the, do the first double four. Oh, okay, the uh, that's not good 19 pips okay he's he's, he's, he's just counting through. the race but here there's so many uh, bad rolls yes so and, many bad rolls and black has yeah. killer board here yeah yes this super strong five point board yeah. over here too many bad rolls here that leaves a shot um i think peter's logic is I have market losers here because I can clear the midpoint with a double and I can attack the goalkeeper. So but six two I is, this is <laughs> it's safe for one roll, basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and now what what is White's gonna do next time, right? Is is Mochi gonna stay with the goalkeeper? He could also make a sneaky move and just with step a up two. there. Yeah, it's quite nice, that right? It, it eliminates a lot of the point hit uh, making numbers for uh, for Peter. Yeah, for point on head won. numbers. Five one, five three. This is interesting. You don't give him a good eye. Five one five three play awkwardly, right? After coming forward. Yes. Well, by, they, by, they don't play awkwardly. By, they play behind. But yeah, by then point. Yeah. Jumping up to the twenty two, you eliminate a lot of the the bad numbers here. So I think that's what Mochi is considering. Well, here a four five three. Yeah. So you just you just stay back, right? Here. That's the, apparently the idea for the com the computer says it's a clear play. You stay back. But I can tell you. For a human player, in this case Mochi, this is not an easy decision. Yeah, but look, if White rolls a six-four, you're glad to stay back here, right? That's right. That's because that might be the sw yeah. Well, you're still gonna get a shot, right? You're gonna get two but shots. But you're gonna get yeah. a double shot. You're right. Yeah. That's a swing number. Uh, yeah. You're right. That's a huge swing number. You've just got to take time six. on shot counting, right? That's what the clock's for. And the know. same with six two as well. You're gonna six get a two is start. yeah. Okay, now now is now we're starting to see the position clearly. This is a tactical position. We're running through the numbers. So it's not so much strategy here, it's more about tactics. Do you think that's something, you know, maybe less experienced players do, Mark, they don't crunch those numbers on? Well, just because it's hard, you know? Yeah. It's, it's not <laughs> easy. You gotta practice this stuff. But I mean Mochi is probably the best in the world. For this, <laughs> yeah, right? he just so, easy, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, well, I mean, at crunching these numbers, so I expect him. Look at this. Yeah, he just. Yeah. No. Nice. Okay. Actually, it's not the very best play, but it's the right idea. Oh, he figured out that five he's, is wow. uh, ab that's probably the best roll Whoa. for White, right? That's uh, <laughs> that's a killer. That's, um, yeah, I think that's it. But Peter What's hasn't right? been playing. It's a good entry for Black. Peter hasn't been playing his best so far. Oh, double three. Look oh. at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's a gammon lurking here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, so how do we play? Peter really wants to win a gammon here, so he's trying to figure out is there any way I can get a checker off here? But there isn't. I think you just. Yeah, yeah you don't want to give some bad sequences here. No. Double five. Oh, no. Wow. Okay, so now Black would prefer to maybe to dance, right? No, no, no. Now he Black wants to come in and, and save a G. This yeah. is actually pretty big that he danced here. Wow. Okay, but he got the shot, okay. so he was happy in the end to dance. 
Heisty but, Gammons. Uh, oh, that's a huge swing again <laughs> wow. because the gamma rate goes up tremendously with each of these dancing numbers. It's going to be a close match this one, right? You can just feel it. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, Peter has to step up his, his game. So far, Mochi is playing perfectly. Oh, I mean, yeah, almost. Two, two. And, and He's Peter made. Is, uh, has made some pretty severe blunders so far, but it's still early. It's long still match. early. And in a long match, you can make some whoppers, right? And, and still come over good PR, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Talk from experience, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah, but he, but I think he already messed it up, Peter. So it's not going to be... Uh, fantastically well played match from him from his part with the blunders he've made so far but yeah. he's gonna grind it down he can grind that he can down, grind down right? into the fours perhaps maybe even into the threes if he it's plays possible really well. right could be a long match yeah yeah but at least he's leading six six to four and so, to be honest in this tournament i think peter would rather lead six four than play a lower error rate than right that. sure because this is high stakes <laughs> it's yeah. really high stakes yeah Okay. okay so here we That's go. it. Fighting for the advanced anchor. Always got a hit. Opening principle. Knock him off the points he wants to make. Here it's a bit of a hitting contest, but black is <laughs> goes back further in a race, right? When it. Duplicates the sixes. Yeah, that's not what I'm good, you know. No need to go crazy. Even here. ones, is, you know. Yeah, it's clear play, right? You don't want to hit deep on that point. No. And there's a nice six and one duplication. Yeah. That's what you need to cover the the five point with. Six two. Nice roll. Hit and cover. That's a great roll. Yeah, we make a five point. We've also got the, an embryonic four prime. Yeah, so. yeah, okay, nice use of term. <laughs> yeah. <I> remember, <laughs> that's my... Uh, yeah, I like you, I watch your good. channel, you know. Uh -huh. I, know. <laughs> you know. I came up with that term. Yeah. Um, it's oh, there you go, that's, that's a four Now pride. it's a concrete position. Yeah, I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So an embryonic position is when you are weak in the current moment, but you're about to get strong. That's yeah. why I use this... And again, it's just looking ahead, right, on the rolls, yes. so you can see the merging, right? Oh wow, three two is three two huge. is massive now. The cubes yeah. are off. Yeah, <laughs> double three is also tremendous. This is gonna be double three. What do you do here, though? Do you? Can, yeah, that, yeah. you can't go too far forward, right, because of the race. So you've got to. You're still down in the race. Five. Whoa, wow. the freedom roll, but the key to with the double three was to block the sixes here. You're actually making a five prime. Obviously, uh, he could have made the point there as well on his heads, right? But it's yeah. better to just get gone. I think because of the pip count, is he's that far ahead, he should just cruise into a doubling. Yeah, and now with it's, it's a volatility. cube right after this. Oh, yes. This is definitely a cube. cube. Notice that Mochi lost the midpoint up here. So uh, Peter's going to have an easy time on stacking and bringing his Jaggers home. Um, I just think this is like a... Classic double take. Yeah, situation. exactly. You can game. take, yeah. Um, he only has better contact with a blot on a three point, right? So, yeah. Yes, it, there's a little bit of extra contract, but it's also a, a vulnerability uh, because Peter could attack that guy. I think it's an asset for Mochi right now, but I'm not. Wow, it's sure. very close to a no double. Yeah. And again, it's because you can have a contact in the position for black, right? And Yes, it's a borderline double. So, good play by Peter. I would be so surprised if Mochi drop this cube because here it's we, interesting we've right? got we've two men behind the anger we've got no spares on the on the uh, five and six point we've got a lot of men who needs to come home here in yeah. the outfield the, i mean it also has a good front position it's uh, also key right having the four checkers on the mid right because you can clear the mid with a double yes but I would say that that's usually the market loser in a holding game mm -hmm. but that's when you're facing a position on, on the other midpoint, yeah, okay, Mochi takes it. Good, Good take, Mochi. Yeah. I'm surprised it took him that long, to be honest. But he's probably just want to be sure that he doesn't make any mistakes. So we've seen quite a lot of his holding game positions, right? Yeah. I mean, in this, in this match. Okay. What is he thinking here? He's thinking of whether to... To do a to double slot or something? Yeah, to slot or to build something concrete. So here, 
with this move, he's building something concrete. That's good if you expect to get a shot in the upcoming roll. Right. But if he's not expecting to get a shot, he can might as well just slot the pure point. You know, to, right to make points accept, faster. Yeah, yeah sure. just accept some uh, immediate vulnerability, immediate weakness. But to yeah. get it, it's the trade-off between long-term versus short-term strength. Nice, know? I like that. Yeah. So I think Mochi should probably go for, well, now we have the computer result. Actually, we can see it's very close, 10 millipoints apart. Uh, uh, yeah. Because it's, it's not exactly uh, clear either way if Mochi is actually going to get a shot here. Right, yeah. And I mean, White's not going to hit loose here in this position with this red no, blade anyway. So not. it's unless he gets a perfecter with something, yeah. it's not going to happen. So. But sometimes the shots are just fly shots. If you're about to get a fly shot, you would prefer mm. to have immediate strength rather than long-term strength i like that you should write that well, <laughs> write that down mark yeah. Those, uh, <laughs> yeah i've got many of those <laughs> yeah i like that <laughs> yeah okay okay so so now what is it nine seven five four yeah so yeah the ace is very efficient right very you utilize your checkers perfectly Playing like this. Yeah, so most people would step up with a one from the back, right? But here, not the, necessary. No, I think the, the, the goalkeeper is still an asset for Mochi. It's not a liability yet. Um, Peter yeah. doesn't have enough Again, blitz material hey. aiming at that goalkeeper. And 6-4 as well, you get. Oh, that's one of them. You know, that's one of them. 6-5, but still we get returns, right? 4-5, 1-5, wow, right? You, so we're still... You're not supposed to hit here. Yeah, it's because, of the, it's because of those numbers you just mentioned. You then. just don't leave shots, right? Yeah. When your 30 pips up, you... I'm surprised here because, I, I mean... Justin's like that, right? He's like, I don't leave shots. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I just don't leave shots. I would yeah. be thinking about the gammons here. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe in a double match point I wouldn't hit. I still might hit actually in a double match this because you, it's also easier to get your checkers home while your opponent is on the bar. Absolutely. So I think this I is mean, a tough it's not decision. a massive error to make the three point, but right. this just goes to show, right? You've got to slow down. It's a very interesting, interesting play. This one, I, I am, I'm actually impressed if Peter makes the you right. You get more gammons. Here. Just like um, two percent more gammons after a three point, yes. right? And the cube is turned, so it's yeah it's that's, night that's what i was thinking but yeah. even making a point behind the anchor gammons are never going to be that high with the anchor made right so some gammons in it and 12 uh, then right yeah I, I, this is not a pretty exactly pretty to play a third checker here on the two point <laughs> yeah i would just make the three point. i like this idea of like a second best play right you always kind of consider the best move and then consider the second move right and then yeah, you do a bit of evaluation here there there are only two yeah but it's a way up right and i think the yeah. race kind of swings it towards a safe play yes For, uh, of course you want to play safe you've got full freedom you're you up don't. in the race how many shots is this it's one five and four five yeah so like, it's four out of 36 it's actually quite a lot yeah it's any hit here is fatal right yeah it's oh, no, yeah. Joke. It <laughs> you know, no joke you kind it, of, it's basically fatal to go yeah hit. Not, not entirely, but oh, yeah. for the most part. It's only a 10 millipoint error, uh, yeah, so we've been a little bit harsh on it. Yeah. <laughs> on that, but still, you know, small margins. Yeah. Okay, so here Mochi basically can't make a mistake, but he, he doesn't know that. So again, Mochi is faced with a goalkeeper oh, dilemma. Wow, do you yeah. stay back or do you stay back? He's had this dilemma like eight times now. Well, this one looks games. scary. Here I would probably error, right? It, it, well, Peter has the stronger inner board. But look, he's got no attackers. He's got one attacker sitting there. That's it. That's the only attacker in direct range. So I think that's why you can actually yeah. still go for it. And also here, is White going to hit loose with force, right? He's not going to hit he's loose. He's not going to hit but loose, so it's safe. If, if this guy was here or or here, okay, maybe it's too much to be down here. And then maybe you just step up and just safety the, the goalkeeper. But yeah. as it stands with almost uh, basically no attackers except for this one, I think we can go for the goalkeeper. Wow. That, that is very it's, good, right? And it's here good. you can see like 6-3 plays awkwardly, right? There's some awkwardness. 6-3, right? yeah. 6-3, it plays, but it's awkward. Yeah. What you, else do we, ha do we have we got? What about a 5-4? No, it plays. 5-4, but five. 5, point shifts. 6-5 plays. 
four, three. It's kind of counterintuitive wow, to think like you have better, better, better winning player. chances having another guy back, but yes. it's all well, about the contact in the position. Contact. Yeah, yeah. That's the contact value. You know, really key. And oh, double sixes from Mochi. I like your value equation for that, Mark. You really take into account, you know, the contact in the position, right? Yes. That's what uh, that's what Mochi is basically doing here. He, he has one game plan left, and that's contact. You know? mm. But now, that's the dragon with the tail move. Look at oh, this. We've yeah. got the dragon, and then we've got the tail <laughs> right back here. I love that idea. I'm yeah. Mickey Gray. It's great. Yeah. Yes. Leave a tail. You know that uh, yeah. I was actually the one who came up with this principle, but I need a name for it. Yeah. So that's how, why I involved Mitchy in the... In the developing it's a of great this, name, man. Like nobody I, names spagamon patterns you know, like Mitchie. When you can visualize it, it really helps, right? Yes. I mean, and even like the rack, that kind of grey Roberti term for the six uh -huh. by four is it's just a grey name, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And I why not? You know, like chess has all these great names for gambits, right? Yeah. When in backgammon, come on, let's make it more colourful. Yes. I agree completely because it's a game of pattern recognition. That's why I, we can remember these plays and we can identify them. Yeah. I had this discussion with Will Snellings and he was just like, I don't need any names for anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't need that. Uh, he's a just great plays. guy, Will, yeah. He's, uh... <laughs> and he plays so fast as well and so precise. Yeah. Okay, what's happening here? What is that dice? Well, he, yeah, double sixes. He, 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 now he's looking at uh, just making two inner board points. Um, I mean, this is obviously a big decision. Those big doubles always are. And then mm. we see the computer analysis. The best play is what we call the dragon with the tail move. Yeah, he still preserves um, the contact, right? Preserves the, that's the tail down here where he preserves the big contact. And he generates new contract tech out here yeah, in, the, right. in the outfield with these. That's it. That contact tension with he, that he, You know, like he can't just make the bar right with 6 1 because he leaves that direct shot afterwards. Yeah. And here, if yeah, that's right, exactly. You know, if he doesn't go now, then he's going to have to go soon, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he just doesn't have a timing in yes. that position. So, I think that the four point is a better anger than the the fifteen point, but the, and it's not that bad. The fifteen, point. good play, good Mochi. Play. Wow, I mean, uh, really the good. There. And double four is like again just okay. So how do you play it? You can make the ace point here. But it looks so tempting to just make two wow. points. Okay. We, no, a, yeah. is, well, is correct. Cubes turns, but yes, look at the gamma difference. Twenty-one percent versus eleven percent. Yeah. That's why you gotta make the ace. So point this here. is one where the cube is turned, right? I reckon yeah. uh -huh. if it was centered, you would be the other play. You would just play with li low volatility and yeah. cash pick position next time. Sure, yeah. This is a good move, Peter. Well, He's going to have a look at the other one. Gammon's 20%, right? So right. still it's... 21 versus 11%. And then that, that's a big lead, right? Okay, it got, just got gamma. closer on the XG++ analysis. So it's it's actually a very close play. He's not going to make any mistakes here. But again, they don't know that, right? They, yeah, uh, it's easy to move. see as a commentator. <laughs> yeah. They have no idea for this. Over the board, this is a big decision for Peter. There are, there's definitely blunder potential here with this big double. The thing is, though, with by making the four, you are leaving, you know, some shots, right? You're leaving six one and three four. No, no not three four because he's filling out the gap on the four point uh, on his four point. He is just oh six yeah, one. sure, yeah, six just six one. one. Yeah, so he's course, it's yeah. one, it's it's basically one eighteenth probability yeah. or two two out of thirty six. Yeah, sure. Uh, mm. Probability because he's just leaving uh, the one six. Um, if you make the ace point, you're leaving a 4-3. Mm. So that's also 2 out of 36. That's so he can't escape that risk. It's going to be 2 yeah. out of 36 shots, no matter what. Yeah. Okay, he chooses to play the, the low volatility, high winning chance Okay. move. This so. is definitely the double match point move, but... He is missing out on some gammons here. Yeah, because black now six three, six four, six five are just out. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, he's probably still gonna win the race, right? In that case. That's a good number. It is to, to, because to... Mochi's catching up in the race a bit. And then you just make the prime, yeah, uh -huh. for sure. Wow. So Mochi now he's playing sub two PR. Yes. Incredible. It's beautiful. And, and Peter is struggling a bit still, um, finding his shape. And now but, it's uh, yeah. Okay. No other place than this. 
Mochi has again has a fly shot. Two out of thirty six combinations. I saw the do for, do's first, but the ace is no Always good. Always good to get another crossover. Yeah. Green Peter Biden. could still win a gamble here, but he needs a close out and he needs it right now. And he's not okay. Enough. It. Yeah. So you now Mochi's gonna move some pips and he's gonna basically gonna make it impossible for Peter to win a gamble. Here we get a um, five four. Is not good. Okay. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Just play safe. My quick intuition wow. was to take off two checkers, but it's probably okay. It's probably okay. This is kind of getting safe. awkward for White. He's yeah, a bit six five over is awkward, right? front. Yeah, five four is awkward. Double six is not. <laughs> wow, I mean that's Double another. It's always a problem, but yeah, gammons are just off right now. You just gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, eight, eight too late. Two, two. That's what Art Benjamin told me. Eight, when it, eight, eight checkers left too late, right? Yeah, You've got to run. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I like it. Yeah. I'm always counting out the crossovers, you know, yeah. to make that decision. So if Art has a great simple rule, when to run. So if if your opponent only has eight men left, then it, then you're too late. Yeah. You before. Yeah. So left? eight or nine checkers. That's the time to go. Yeah. Definitely eight checkers. Yeah. yeah. Unless, of course, it's DMP or something, you know, where yeah. it's... Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's you sometimes underestimate the gammon in the position, and yeah. Because even if white leaves a shot, you still got to hit the shot, right? Uh -huh. It's not a guaranteed win. Eight is too late. That's right. We've got Daniel in there saying about, yeah, when teaching kids backgammon, using the terminology really helps them learn. Yeah, that kind of colorful language is. And you know, definitely getting backgammon into schools is is a way to go. Yeah. Okay. So you play it like this. Standard. Yeah, that's right. You. By the way, Daniel, you, are you familiar with the. Now I'm calling you Daniel. You're familiar <laughs> I'm talking about Daniel Sorensen. Uh, are you familiar with Daniel Sorensen? What he did in his school project? I saw he recently the, the held a tournament for 300 school kids. Unbelievable work, yeah. And he had two world champions uh, come showing up Sandra Lila and Peter Halberg to play with the kids. Unbelievable. Fantastic. Absolutely. I mean, we can all grave a game in different ways, right? You yeah. know? Um, but getting kids involved at an early age is, is massive, right? If we want to keep these tournaments popular. Yes. Small mistake here by, by Mochi. It would have been slightly better to play this move, hit loose on the yeah. five point. But uh, not a wow. big deal. 33 that's a good point. hit as well, because that blood wow. is completely safe on your oh, level, yes. right? Peter has a good position here. The match score is starting to come into play. Yeah. Now Peter is seven away, Mochi is 11 away. So. That is actually a sizable lead here. Yeah, he right. Should, this, he could consider doubling here at an even score, but it's certainly not a double uh, at this score. So we've see, we're going to see some adjustments. Yeah, that's moment. right. Particularly because Machu will have a very strong recube. Yes, know, that's from why. From behind, that, yeah. That's exactly why you want to wait out a little bit longer in these contact positions. By the way, Dan, did you see that uh, we get a little sneak peek into Mochi's notes down in the right corner? Oh, okay. Oh, so yeah. What is it? He's, he writes down the score. Is it the clock time? What is it that he's got going on yeah, there? Yeah, I'm not sure. I've, uh, but... We'll get him on afterwards. <laughs> we can ask him. 6 two. Okay. Okay, so Mochi is not too fond of stripping the midpoint too early here. He kind of want to keep that spare. So I think we're going to see him do something with the back checkers. It's also the split so of a bar, right? We need, I think so. I mean, this seems like a natural play to Yeah, me. right. White doesn't have a blitzing structure. Primary he structure. And, but he has these checkers, these spare checkers on the 5 and 6 that he wants to utilize, right? So... It's actually quite nice to just get, go to the other side of the avalanche, but where to oh, play the an, deuce? So yeah, minor where split is deuce? better, and uh -huh. then you bring another one down. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Right. okay. So the first thing I said was he wasn't too fond of stripping the midpoint. But I guess creating all this flexibility down here is, mm. is not too bad either. Um, if if Mochi was more st or if Peter was more stacked here, Mochi would be more inclined. Wow, he finds the best play. Good it's very really good, yeah. But Mochi is not too stacked, so I think that's why it's rather safe actually to just make the minor split. You can just think in terms of game plan, right? That black is priming, white is priming, so yes. you 
you need split, to split against the prime, right? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow! Look at this. That's a hit. That's a great Excellent. shot. Great shot. Now Peter needs to roll something. Okay. Good. Now, what do you think about wow. the cube? No, it's too early. It's too early. He's too still, early. He still got this guy. I think. I he don't know. To... With a, with trailing, I'm. I mean, I'm sending it. <laughs> it's it's very it? easy to. I mean, uh, even if even if this no guy points. was was out here, no. you could still take it. You know, because he's so underdeveloped, Mochi. Hundred and eighty-two kids. Daniel, yeah, excellent work on that. Okay, 182. Yeah. I got the number. Wow, but still incredible work. Yeah. Imagine a tournament with 182 kids. Yeah, back in. that could be, you know, kids yeah. championship at uh, Monte Carlo. Yeah, well, one year, you know. Okay, so now next time, unless uh, Peter rolls something good here, are we going to see the hidden split? I think we are. Yeah, yes, I think that's the when right he play. gets, when he can jump with sixes, usually right yes, hits, right? Exactly. Now it, that's. Yeah, good play, Peter. The hidden yeah, split. Yeah, you've got Preventing a, Mochi from getting freedom with this and guy. And also a tempo. You don't want Black to make the five oh, point here. That's right. Look at all these beautiful spare checkers that Mochi has in place pointing on the, the five point. So there's a huge tempo gain here as well. So it's just a pretty clear play. Mochi is yeah. thinking about the cube, but I don't think it is. He's still a little bit embryonic over here, you know? Three is not a marker loser, right? Three six that, might be a marker loser. Three six, double three. Uh, but like a 3-1, for instance, is probably not going to be a market. Right, it's a small this. double, it's a small though, double. but easy take, yeah. That's the effect of the match score. That is exactly, it's yeah. a no double for money, but because he's trailing four points, and th this is kind of a, it is a little bit of a gammonish position. So it's yeah, not completely gammonless. Right. Right? That's so, right, you've got 20% gammons. That free hitting is, is a big free, right? It is, well, or 19% gammon, right? You've definitely just got to think, right, in these positions. Don't... This is an impressive find by Mochi. Yeah. If he finds this cube. But you know, when white is trapped back there and sixes and fives just play badly, it's. I mean, white's yeah. just got a stripped he's got, midpoint. He's got a lot of prime value, Mochi. Uh, because of these two back checkers of Peter that yeah. doesn't have any daylight. I mean, even if he jumps out, right, you're still getting those double hits from black, so. <laughs> So much what are you working on at the moment, Mark? Any new books in the uh, pipeline? Yeah, we. Oh wow, six three six from the <laughs> rusher. <laughs> they know it's that, that. That was. Oh no, wait! It's not a market loser. It. It. He can probably still double in. He can probably wow. still double in. Uh, wow, I think Mucci's is gonna double here. And are you taking this as white? Ah, uh, that's the question. <laughs> now that's it's like one of the, one of, another little secret of mine that uh, you know you have these things that happen in the game that are triggers, mm. and in a priming game, the moment your enemy loses their midpoint, that's often a trigger for to send the cube mm. because you you give up outfield and you you get yourself into what I like to call the disconnected state. That's when you got triggers in deep. And you got a front position, but you have no mid position. Mm. That's the disconnected state, and that's just so weak. Um, and here, so that's why I know this is a cube. I know there's a cube from Mochi. You know? I mean, that's yeah, white the question is whether you take it. I, I don't like it. The take, yeah. I mean, white's the timing is poor. The prime is going to crumble. Yeah. There's no connectivity in the position, yeah. right? He's in the disconnected state. You just kind of let it go. I think, right? Preserve your match lead. I think. Uh, well, what happened? They, they they had some sort of incidents. Incident. What's happened? Oh. I, and they stopped the game shortly, but now they're back and Peter's thinking about which deuce to play. Uh, apparently... Did Black play? What? Okay, I think this deuce is slightly better, apparently. According to the... It's actually significantly better. That's a 60 millipoint error. So it just goes to show how much they're getting primed back mm. here and they need to fight for freedom. Easy cube. Yeah, you know, is this a take? Oh, he quickly takes it. He took it he took quick. It What's even, it? Is that, was that a take? Is that a take? Well, I, mean, I mean, I think it didn't jump up the PR, so it must have been a take, right? Uh, I mean, uh, didn't it? It was, yeah. I, when, I hope, that, I mean, why we should have... 5.8, 5.7, so I think it was a good take. I, I'm sad that we didn't get to see the analysis there because, I mean, he took it so fast, right? Uh, he yeah, had time to I think mean... About it, but, oh, wow, 5.3 is duplicated. No, you, I think you got to come out. I think you need to get those guys free. Freedom yeah. is one of my four. That was a good take if principles. it was correct. Yeah, very good. But, yeah, but we don't know yet. I mean, 
felt like his PR went up a little bit. You need freedom! <laughs> freedom! Come on! Is that Mel Gibson? <laughs> so, you know, I've got four <laughs> fundamental principles of backend yeah. theory. Checker utilization, purity, flexibility, and freedom. You know, freedom is so important. Yeah, yeah. It's a good play, Peter. He liberates that back guy because otherwise you're going to get hit. trapped and you're going to crunch. Yeah. You know? So good play, Peter Jess Thompson. But it's great, you know, Black having that advanced anchor, it just kind of rules over counterplay as well for White, you know, because White can't come in and hit. Yes. So counterplay is off the table. Yeah. Well, he, he does have a little bit of counterplay just by having a four prime over here. Yeah. But uh, it, now he needs to fight for freedom. The question is, how do you play the ace? Wow, this is the ace. That's a good find. Yeah, that's, that's a really good, good find. Because I, I, would be tem oh, I would be tempted just to play that one. Yeah. That's a really good find. I guess the anchor safeguards yourself from getting blitz attacked. That's right. That's probably And you why. lose a lot less gammons with a 23 point as opposed to a 24 uh -huh. point, Definitely. you know? I mean, it's like a lot. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about coming out with two, but uh, Mochi could make the 10 points. So, of course, you got to make structure in your prime. 3-1. Okay. Good, good roll. Pretty good roll. Yeah. He gets to unstack. Again, check a utilization. Principle this is number an interesting one. game. Yeah. Okay. Three, wow, six. big gray great, roll great just to jump for yep. prime. Yeah, two the duplicated here. Six four doesn't hit. Ah, oh, but look he, what it he does. He makes a point up. He makes them. Oh, he hits. Oh, it does hit. It does hit. How wow. does it hit? From the twenty two. Oh yes. Wow, oh yes. I just didn't see it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, I almost made that A4 point without even seeing. That's. Uh -huh. But his fly shots are easy to miss, you know. Yes, You've and then it. he dances. Wow. Peter has a game now. Wow, Peter has a good game now. Yeah. He's a big favorite all of a sudden. With some gammons in the mix. If White can roll a three, you like know, to, to step up, it's he, big. He, oh, that's a good three from Mochi. He's fighting for the edge of the prime. That's where the battle is now. The battle is at the edge of the prime. <laughs> so I okay. get okay. out with his out. Yeah. No, got... you need to split first. That's the ace. And then which six is better? Which six is better? I think maybe it's better to jump out with this guy, you know? Yeah, you freedom, go, yeah. I, again, yeah, like we just, said, this mobility issue, right? You've got to give a check exactly. his move in. That's right. You mobility. don't want to be stuck. Hey, Black's on the bar, just just go. I, <laughs> yeah. I might have to expand my list from four to five. <laughs> mobility Mobility's it. like on my list now, yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's, really you know, It's on my list. Yeah. Again, the lazy play is just to run with this guy, but then you're stuck here with these two yeah, men. Yeah, now is the time, right? Yeah. Now is the time. But it's close, it, right? It's Making close. a 22 yeah. point, but... It, this is slightly more bold. It's slightly more bold play. Uh, but you can make a bold play. You have a better yeah, on, the good, on the bar. Good play there from yeah. Peter. Out, yeah. Nice. Mochi wants to come in. Wow, okay. excellent. How do we play the four? Yeah, no, he, he doesn't want to risk getting a third man sent back yeah. behind the prime. So that was a good play. You've always got to be mindful of it, the gammons, right? I mean, you just, yeah. Particularly when the cubes turn. Okay, we're, we're, six, we're gonna, five. yeah. The match score is really crucial here. When you're leading, the time, the positions where you can actually uh, double in is positions with high winning chances. So Peter wants to get freedom. He wants to bring his checkers home, and then maybe he could actually find a recube here. But as long as they're contact, we're never going to see a recube yeah. from Peter. This is it's interesting as well, whether you make the point or you make the ace, right? Yes. Look at the pip count. The pip count is rather close. That's a good argument for making the deuce point, actually. Because that mm. means he could make that maneuver that we like to call, uh, oh... Yeah, that, we don't like this. Oh, it's that's just too risky. You're going to lose too many gammas here. How, what about the five? No, no, no. Don't do that, Mochi. Oh, but yeah. what I was about to say is the, the, making the deuce point here. That's the move where we call uh, blitzing to escape. Blitzing, to, blitzing escape. to escape, yeah, I like that, yeah. He's putting him on the bar and then he's buying himself time to then start rolling some sixes and get... That's get right, if he's on the bar, then then you jump, right? But oh, yes. at the moment, the moment no. you just give too many sequences here. Yeah. yeah, double two, double four, two, four, four, five. It's way too many rolls here. Oh, Mochi, yeah, you, yeah you, you, you you're outboarded. The race is very close, so you don't want to lose any pips. The problem getting hit, it's not, it's not just that you're going to get blitz attacked, it's also that you're losing important ground in the race. 
Mm -hmm. When the race is close, you typically don't want to get hit. Again, here we can look at the blitz, right? We've got how many? 11 in the zone here, a, right? So actually, we've got uh, 13. 13, 13, right? Yeah, we both got. <laughs> that's the Phil Simborg rule. Like... Count how many checkers are on the other side of the board, you know, <laughs> rather than count how many we've got. So, yeah, yeah. Good play, Mochi. Yeah, good, good play, work. Yeah. Oh, another wow. good roll. Yeah, another good great. Role. And now. Blitzing to escape. That's what Mochi wants to do. But okay. again, we have a time. So now he no, wants the six. He, he, he wants it's to just jump. a single six, and Much is doing really well. Yeah, he really wants the six here That's to the jump. Blitz to oh, escape. There, there is blitzing to escape. And you just you bring it round, right? You just play I think you one, just bring it around the corner. One here. blot, yeah. Yes. You want to play with two blots. Okay, here. it's close. Wow. Now, I mean, this is true. But here we go for a blitz attack. Yeah, but if White enters and hits, no, and you've got the, another blot. And look at the evaluations. Great play by Mochi. Yeah. I would have made the other play. Yeah, Keeping me too, the blot yeah. count down, but... It's the same amount of shots, actually. 5-4. No, it's actually one shot less because it's duplicating double aces. <laughs> so maybe that's it. It was one shot less, <laughs> it's another attacker. So good play. You play into a 6. Very nice. Look that's at that. Flexible. From position. Uh -huh. That's But Black is, again... Oh, big, he keeps dancing. Big 6. Yeah. He just needs a single 6. Or he can just close him out. Okay, he's going to go for the close out. Uh, very nice. Yes. Bought Solid. himself so much time to escape here. The blitz yeah. to escape maneuver. It's really, really working out well for him. This is good for Black, yeah. Just a single six and there's okay. the six. So wow. that's it. That's uh well played Mochi. Very unlucky dice for Peter. Yeah. Right. But, but uh, that's gonna be interesting. We it looks like a it's gammon, right? Seven point match maybe after this. This right? is crucial. Oh wait, I think he needs to get some checkers into his home board to decrease the gammons here. Because if he gets no, nah, okay, I was wrong. This is okay, just play efficiently. Uh, what I was worried about here is that you're going to get closed out. And then you didn't move any pips to save the gammon. Mm. What do you do here? You uh, do hit with a free? Uh, this is the gammon play. And Mochi yeah. is trailing in the match. So I think you yeah, should think cute. about the gammon. Yeah, hitting is actually... With a cute turn, right? You yeah, make yeah. the aggressive well, play, right? I yeah. mean, if you don't make this play, the gammon is just going to slip out of your hands. Because again, yeah. Mochi, uh, Peter's going to move mean, pips. All the top moves, right? Top five moves we can see the hit is, is yes. key. Uh, because otherwise, you, you give him opportunities to hit you, right? <laughs> and, he that's cool. and it's actually seven uh, hits. Yeah. Uh, sorry, six hits. Th that's yeah. seven here. It's, it's six out of 36. Hitting here on the ace point is just uh, is 11 out of 36. So it's not a big difference in terms of probabilities. Oh, oops. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. It's gone haywire. Oi, Tara. How do I delete all these? Oh, it's happening, yeah. This is this was a position. Okay. Uh -oh. I need your help, Char. Oh, he did oh. make the hit off the front. I, I need to hit. Tara? Okay. You can do the play by play commentary then. How, how do I I just did something accidentally. Thank you. Thank you. And it still works? Yeah, good. Okay. Thanks a lot, Tara. So it worked, right? Yeah, it Black worked. hits and... Um, it didn't just work to escape, it actually worked to maybe win a gammon. <laughs> yeah. So and an, this is basically the best bearing structure, right? Let's bear on a 6, 5 and a 4, right? Yeah, it's solid. optimal structure and great play here by Mochi. It uh, doesn't leave any bad numbers here. There's some no compliments in the chat. Very nice. Thank you, Chris and Penny. Great to see. We got 517 watching now, Mark. Wow, that's good. It's amazing, that's yeah. Good. That's uh, very uh, promising. Yeah. You know, when, when we get to Sunday and we have. Oh, about to one. I thought it was a five. Okay, so, wow, well, we got about 6 1 5 1 now. We only. Yeah, that's it. Oh, five. Oh, one. damn, I and shouldn't look, have called when, it. When he's got four men off, so he can get the fifth man off, is that worth leaving two extra shots? I think you, you rip and... That's a close call. So that one, that extra man is, if he gets hit, getting the fifth man off is actually cru critical. It's worth perhaps 7 to 8% winning chances. And also you're so even, can, right? You get another guy off, you, you got 10 enough, checkers. Yes. So five rolls. That's right. Yep. It, it, you win more gammon this way. Um, but you, you do give uh, t 2 out of 36, which is about 5.6%. 
So it's like 5.6% mm. higher likelihood of getting hit. But if you do get hit, that fifth checker off is worth around 6%. So, yeah. But it, also here, you're leaving a lot of follow-ups. Follow you know, yeah. yeah it's um, just now, like, a lot of shots are going to leave here. Small mistake by... Small, small computational mistake by Mochi here. Yeah. 6-5, another shot. And here we go. And uh, Yeah. This is critical for Fear. Four and nine. Criti wow, the four... And do you cover? I think so. You cover, but I'm not completely sure. So it's usually around five checkers off, isn't it, Mark? Where you can get the readable. Right? Yeah, but 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 so, uh, Mochi got the six man off, which yeah. means even if Peter makes a closeout, it's not even a money double yet. Mm. Furthermore, Peter's leading in the match, eight four. So we're not gonna see a redouble. I think we're gonna see a redouble if Peter closes him out. And he's got three men off. Three men off, right? Yeah, that's, sure. Uh, yeah. And 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 Mochi still on, is still on the bar. Yeah, definitely. You got to think about match score, right? In these positions, yeah. yeah. That's the deuce. Oh, now Peter might be fishing for more checkers. Oh, wow. Uh, this is probably the. I mean, that's the normal play, right? You roll your prime forward. Well, you know, two but, five, two three. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Even. Also, notice the checker utilization. Checkers wants to make points. That's a great shot. Two one is great to clean awesome that up. Shot. Yeah. Wow. You can feel his heart beat a little faster. There. <laughs> so yeah, that's it's a, just yeah. a really good shot. Now Peter should not be hitting loose. Yeah, he should not be hitting loose. It's too much to break the prime here to hit loose. Don't make yeah. that play. And uh, the key here is to get, I, I mean, at least I would say, Bar what 20. I was thinking about this position is that you need outfield control. Yeah. But apparently the computer seems to like 8 to 5, which is a little bit surprising to me. I would just keep it there and just maximize outfield control. So maybe something like 16 to 13. So you have a guy here, mm -hmm. you have a guy here, here, here. Yeah, and you've got right. this, I mean, you can make the 6 prime, you've got outfield control to return. You also hit. have direct covers on the eight right i mean you've got lots of covers yeah not just the direct but also lots of indirect, indirect covers. yeah like I, I think it's nice when you think like two indirect is a direct basically yeah, right it's a right. way to think about it here it's interesting that seven to two is actually not that far off it's just an a bit of an overplay right hitting there look it's just a 13 millipoint yeah, because no. you really, uh, you have a really big incentive of hitting that guy. He's threatening to get freedom. We don't like it. So yeah. it's not that terrible to break the five prime. And I guess against a two point board, right? If he was a four point board, then that's a different story. <laughs> no then, way. Then we probably would have to play eight to five. Yeah. Uh, if we were facing a four point board. Yeah. You can take more liberties when the home board is weak, right? You, can, of course, <laughs> you can, definitely. Yeah. Okay, he goes for it. Big roll from Machi here. He goes for it. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah, very oh, interesting. Oh, he play. hits. I mean, I kind of like the, the spirit of the play, you know. Yeah. He shows, him, he, shows he knows about the how bad it is to give your opponent okay. an opportunity Why, for freedom. Three is not good. Though. That's not yeah. good. Are we going to see a banana split? <laughs> I don't think we are. Yeah. I don't yeah. think we are. I think this is probably the right right way to go. But now yeah. Black's got fives and sixes, right, to get out. So yes. it's um, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. He does, but Peter has outfield control. He has pretty good outfield control. Okay. Okay. So now Peter's gonna attack with a five or a deuce. That's a five. Now he attacks. Yeah. So sorry, five or three. And look at Peter's PR. We're below five now for the first time in the match, basically since I don't know first game. And. Uh, I predict oh two oh, six wow big. and there's no direct wow return and shots. Has a lot Double of four. checkers to yeah okay so how do we maximize outfield control here that's the question all right wow how do we maximize outfield control you gotta spread out your checkers 20 and 22 to ah, look at the, look yeah at the right yeah here. exactly it wants to go here and it wants to go here okay but you're i'm a little bit sad of losing this uh mm territory down here do these you, containment games though can be tricky right when you're trying yes. to but i guess it's okay to sacrifice a little bit of territory yeah uh, like, because this one is going to be 10 pips away that's actually a very good position to be like to be in like black score at nine rolls doesn't doesn't clear that checker here we've got two four three one yeah. two one 
The five problem, one. The problem with this one is is just ugly. You know, you're burying a checker. He's not supposed to go there. Good play, Peter. Good play, really, yeah. Really, play. really nice, yeah. Really nice play. We understood that position. You keep very the well. pressure on. You know, and that's the thing in backgammon. You just keep. Three. Okay, here we got the triple. triple and here, shot. like twenty-seven plus shots, right? Yeah, and wow, he hits big okay. hit. Yeah, he he plays the first, the four first. He knows how to. Yeah, spread out his this checkers. is well played. He see, he is. knows his type of game. Yeah. Again, notice the outfield control that so Peter Thompson is doing. Is huge, is, right? Exactly. Yeah. He's going to make it so hard for Mochi to, to liberate but, that back. But check White really wants to make the bar here, right? He's he, aiming on Well, the he bar. does, but it's second priority. First priority is outfield control. Second priority is getting builders ready to then go for the bar point. Yeah. He just needs to maximize outfield control now. Now, oh, double five. Okay, that's, okay. I mean, there's so many very possible variations here this is he's gonna use, spend some time on his time bank here oh there's a hitting play you hit yeah 21 basically just play this i think you go through right i mean but uh, how do we no. maximize oh okay outfield. again it's close right 21 11 20 10. oh yeah you can play you can play this and then you can play this i mean it does it does look pretty pretty good in terms of outfield control, yeah this play. It's, it's just so hard for black with that crunched position right yeah. it's when because, you lose your home board, exactly. it's... Because then you, you make that play, you make this play, and then Mochi rolls a 6-3 to hit, but you have a ton of return shots yeah. from the bar. Well, it just comes in, right, with so many rolls, 32 rolls straight back in, yeah. Oh, this one blocks 6-3, it's... Okay, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's difficult, obviously. 1-3 is great. He gets to step up. 1-3, yeah, get some more escape in numbers. One and now it Four misses. One doesn't hit. Yeah. He could make a little outfield prime here. You could block double fives. Yeah, you know this one. I mean, you, know. you just block double fives, it right? It blocks double fives, uh, but it doesn't block double sixes. But that's a game winner anyway. Yeah. Right. So I think that is the move. Uh, okay, the computer wants to do this, and then it wants to play this one. Okay, and that's a good play, Peter. Yeah. That's a good place. So, yeah, There's yeah. some diversification there, yes. right? And you know, if you roll yeah. 6 5, you're not even that unhappy that you get hit. Mm. Black really okay. needs something. Maybe get. Peter can get an easy decision now. Nope. <laughs> no easy decisions for Peter. Um, so, what do we, how do we play this? Ten I guess six. it's better to be split out here than to, to anchor up. 10 6 or 4 3. Yeah, you just maintain that contact, right? I, I don't get. Why would you play that? Why not play 10-5? Why wouldn't this move mm. dominate? It doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you play this and that? Well, uh, Okay, he plays yeah. it like that. I mean, he's okay. correcting a small error, but very difficult. Mm. Double very three, which is not plates, gonna, yeah. He can't jump, Mochi. Let's have an easy decision for Peter. Nope, no easy decisions. Wow, he's... It's just so tough. He's exhausting what? his... <laughs> It's like uh, ten five four three. Wow, what is? Yeah, it's. I mean, whether you play ten to four or ten mm. five four to three, it doesn't really. It's a small detail. Most just wants to jump. Peter preserved outfield control. Five, Look, he four. still has a triple shot. Again, the triple shot he is so strong, right? You can easily miss this triple shot. Okay, there we go. Again, he plays the deuce first. He and then, yeah. To, but wait a minute, he played the deuce too fast because at least you should have a look at this deuce. That's the efficient deuce. I'm not sure it was right, but he should look at it. Two, two. Uh huh. And then the last and one. And then he, yeah. So. so no other shots coming. No, yeah. No, no shots. Won't so he, look, Peter's wow. now got down to a sub five on the PR, right? Yeah, He's yes. grind that down and. Mas Mach is playing like SGM level again here. Yeah, Mochi is just playing. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's good, yeah. Huh? Yeah. It's a it's a Mochi show so far. 5-2. Again, I, I think we need to slot with the deuce and play efficiently here. I think that's yeah. the play. Oh, wow. Yes. Nice. I, nice play. You, you, I mean, when you're trying to prime, checker utilization is paramount. It's just such an important... You've just got nothing to worry about getting hit here, have you? It's well, actually... I mean, it's not fun to look at a 6-1. Yeah, 6-1, but a single one but is... A single one is not too bad, yeah. right? It's not too bad. Oh, this is weird. Wow. Oh, yeah, 6 prime. Not too weird. It's okay. playable. It was actually not that bad. Okay, so Peter's just going to roll his prime. And this is a great board, right? Now you have the skin for this on the app as well, the Monte Carlo board, we, right? That's right. We've got <laughs> yeah. play on the Monte Carlo board on the Backgammon Galaxy app. 
Yeah, but correct. it requires either quite a few winning experience points, or you've got a little a, bit of coin. You've got to kind you of got, grind, right? You've got to grind <laughs> to unlock to that base bar. Yes, but that's what makes it special, you know. It's not everybody who has this board. What's your favorite board then, Mark? To I play like on? The, I like the Quantum board, uh, yeah. which is a legendary board, and I like the Monte Carlo board as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, those are probably my two favorites. Okay. We also got wow. some exotic boards like the Aurora board and the Pandora board. We They're might see a recube, uh, you know, soon. We, so, well, as we know? said, as yeah. we talked about, I think Peter needs to get at least three men off. He's playing his he well, though. Keeping him on the six. You know trying. Let, could he double with, with two men off? And then the, 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 the men off differential is four. I mean, that's mm. when you normally double. Maybe you double with five men less off in this situation and here maybe that, you could adjust a, bit, a little right and this is a little bit awkward actually it's not Five, a good fair off distribution yeah computer. i didn't galaxy app download the galaxy app guys if you haven't already go to app store search for bagaman galaxy and download the app and start playing that's it uh, and check out my channel bagaman is beautiful on youtube very good lots of videos on there interviews with gms well dan it's my honest opinion your youtube channel is literally one of the best Spagaman YouTube channels out there. You do done an excellent job. Thank so you, much man. content actually. You're yeah. up to like what is 80, 100 videos? 80, or? yeah. It's a lot of lot of ideas on there, yes. yeah. And I like that you keep it short. You know, these short 10, and 15. snappy videos for yeah. newer players. Yeah, that's oh, my wow. niche. Wow. Yeah, uh, <laughs> what happened? Okay. <laughs> Double four. Okay, he's fighting back. It's not over yet. How many men off does he have? Uh, he's got eight men off versus eight men off. I mean, he has a small chance. Six, here. seven, eight, nine. He has nine. a small chance. Not good. Okay, actually, it doesn't, doesn't matter. He didn't lose a roll on that one. Here is... Okay, so that's a two oh roll versus God. four. So Peter needs a double. He does get a double, but it's not good enough. It doesn't no. take off four months. Okay, wow. Well. I mean, I think this was a masterclass performance by uh, Mochi. Yeah. And how you blitz to escape and all that stuff. Great. And then I think we saw some great plays by Peter as well. Peter played how that you... containment game yes, really well. I did. mean, that's a great lesson in itself, right? Seeing how he distributed the checkers. Yes. Okay, yeah. we're going to take a break, apparently. Okay. Um, the PR we're... so far, 1.5 for Mochi, 4.4 for Peter. And we're 7 away, 9 away, right? Yes. So okay, really see you cool. soon, Mark. Good, let's take a short <laughs> break and we'll be back in probably five minutes or so. Me and Dan are going to go stretch our legs as well. <laughs> double them in or out? Can we double them in or out? Uh, no redouble. No redouble because uh, Mochi caught up in the race. One of his, so oh, Ross, no. Why are you brought us all the time? R O V I R A. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like so anticlimactic. <laughs> he's starting to play well now. Yeah. 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 But now he's starting to get into it. He had a tough game here, but he made lots of good decisions. I, I guess he's going to end up in three point four. Yeah. He's just playing less than the two. <laughs> <laughs> Not a junior. Not a good one. Not a good one. Not a good one. Not a yeah then, then the 
I just try to go to the back of the room and see more than that. Fits a seal. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. I'm Oh, it's okay. That's what I'm by the way.
Jeg er lige gerne at kommentere en Jeg lige gerne at kommentere en på YouTube. Den går på YouTube. Den starter igen nu her. Så vi snakkes. Okay, det er godt. Hej mor. Hej. You know what's interesting in that game? That 5-1 position that Mochi misses. Everybody is getting that wrong. They're they're undervaluing the fifth checker off. Because because you know what? The, you remember the McGreal textbook taught us that like the the fifth checker off doesn't matter that much because it just gets you to a borderline drop pass and both. Most reference position. No, 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 no. Remember, Bochi played for fewer shots. Hey, he played yeah. for eleven shots, four checkers off. Uh-huh. Okay, he should have taken it off. Everybody's getting that wrong in tournaments. Okay, okay. Yeah. I got that exact position came up in my shoot. I lost uh-huh. a bet on it. I just watched okay. Michi make that mistake against me last night. Oh, okay. the started then. Everybody's getting that wrong. I got it right. You, you got it. Right. Everybody else is getting it wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think we're on. We're back. We're so, back, guys. Yeah, we're back. We're back. And that's just back on. Okay, here goes. So, um, nine away, seven away. Now it's getting more interesting in terms of cubing. Yeah, what are we? We are, yeah. Nine away, seven away, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, Peter is still in the lead. And it, it matters. Um, double, is that double four? Yeah. Double four, that's a good shot from Mochi. Currently, Peter's winning the anchor war. He's got the. You jump out, duplicate the fours, right? 24 16. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a clever way of playing that one. You can duplicate fours here. Aha, uh-huh. okay, good play, Mochi. Yeah. And again, it's like looking like another holding game's coming up, right? <laughs> yes, but with a little bit of attacking chances for yeah. Peter because Mochi still has an open position over here. He's got no anchor. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Peter rolls an awkward roll. So the question is whether we're going to see a slot or not. It's very close. It's very close. I mean, I would be tempted yeah. to go for the slotting I mean, play. 8 here. 2 just looks bad, right? You stick the 8 and, and you kind of dump the checker, right? Yeah. I mean, if we had a completely even race, I wouldn't mind 8-2 to two so much, you know? Uh, yeah, the ones aren't slot. really duplicated, yeah. though, it's, as well, right? The ones are uh, a little a bit little duplicated. A little bit on the bar, maybe, a little bit yeah? Oh, Matt's joined the chat. We I, got MCG in the house. Yeah, hey, what's up? The problem, I think, for Peter was that he was behind in the race. That's why he wanted to go for a priming mm. move. If you're ahead in the race, you just play 8-2 to two and don't get hit. You know, yeah, you have your that's chance. right, yeah. But you're a little bit behind us, Peter. That's what that's what made the decision so close. But it's easy to misread the race, right? Sometimes, and you just do. Ah, I, mean, I mean, for these at this level, these <laughs> players, uh, they're very good. I mean, I don't think they're gonna misread the pip count. Probably not a single time during the entire match. To be okay, honest, okay, that's a great. They, they could, of course, but uh, I that's don't think. That's a great hitting like, play, and here. Wow. Yeah, with a dance are you cubing yeah oh yes yeah oh right. yes but what about six two is that a cube no the race is still uh, in mochi's favor with six pips so i don't think it's a cube yet for peter but it's also leading in the match score yeah i okay. think that's a good decision not to double we didn't get to see Four, it two. Oh yeah, wow you, you you switch right you blitz uh, let's see is he 11 in the zone 11 and so that's a lot of material I mean, but the, isn't he still behind in the race i think I think that's the problem here. Eight four six four. You're still behind in the race, so you want to play pure. If you're up eight pips or more or something like that, it's so easy just to point shift, go for the blitz attack. Mm. But here, you kind of want to play pure still. Yeah. Okay, then, I mean, then Muchi enters with a four. Black then what do you do? Four, you know, then you're you still do? stuck down here. You didn't really. You want a pure position. Here. Right. Yeah. So so leading. I, it's, it's difficult. You know, I, I can see why he's tempted of making this play. It's a temptation. But look how well he's priming him. That's right. Yeah. 
And here, you know, black is running out of sixes. How do you play sixes as black here? That's, you that's lose, the point. lose a mid or no, start no. clearing the eight? For you have to clear. You have to uh, play it from the nine point. But that's a. I mean, he doesn't want to do that, right? That's crunching. Mm. The nine point is valuable. That's a great point, Dan. You're giving Mochi bad sixes with this move. So well played, Peter. And four one. Okay, you make a point. Yeah, it looks clear. Simple. Yeah. Um, Peter is having a look here. There is, there are some market losers here, you know. You can roll a deuce, you hit loose, Mochi dances, and then you lost your market, you know. So it's not. Well, this is difficult. a double here. It, yeah, right? it, it, yeah. You have a market loser. It's, because it's, this is like what we saw before with 6 4, right? Here you've got 6 2, double 2. I yeah. mean, uh, and the race is rather close. So or even a single 6 or 2 and a dance. You, you could even. use the point system here. Good double from Peter. You could use the point system from yeah. Masterclass Chapter 3. Peter has got blitz value, a blitz advantage, and he's got a prime advantage. Here you take, the yeah, race is close, but he's got two or three double points. Two. <laughs> wow, double two. Wow, double two. That's a uh, Is that payback it's for payback. the six four earlier from what you is. remember that game? It's yeah. the payback. <laughs> and and the beautiful thing about this role is that he freezes up Mochi's checkers in the outfield, which means that he could win a gammon here. Yeah, when That's here a gammon, then we would get some very interesting three away cubes, right? Wow, Peter can actually win a gammon here. He's got 39% gammon percentages if he makes the best play, which is this one. I mean, oh yeah, he could also come Again, up. Again, this is his mobility, right? You, you know what You know what this play is called, Dan? Double Falcon, right? The double Falcon. We know the Double right. Falcon, yeah. Like another Michi term. Yeah, it's, it's super close. Yeah, yeah. Both moves make sense. You, you just know. go, right? Yeah. He's got 11 entries, and he's is he going to hit you loose, right, with a five point board? I, uh, well, I know it's I a mean, difficult decision. He, he might because he might be forced to it. Like, imagine yeah. Mochi rolls 4 1 from the bar or 1 3. You know, I think he is going to hit loose actually. Mm. It's um, that uncomfortable. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. It's yeah. very uncomfortable. 1 6. One, I like six. that though, you force those difficult decisions for your opponent, you know, you keep yes. the pressure on when uh -huh. you play, I mean. Okay, Mochi doesn't want to, look at Mochi, he, he knows it's ugly to put that checker there, but he doesn't want to get hit, because then he might lose a gammon. Right. He needs to move pips, get those checkers into your home board so you don't lose a gammon. Every pip matters before you get closed out. And look, Peter's just getting better and better as oh, the yes. match continues, yeah. right? It I really mean, if you grinding discard again. those Game 1 syndrome blunders from Peter, yeah. he's actually played the uh, world class. Yeah, this totally, match. yeah. Very few blunders across both players. Yeah. Oh, 3-1. Three, 3-1 one. Three, one wow. is strong. Yes, now he could go fishing. Fishing for more checkers. Because he's not in a risk of getting counter primed. Yeah, yeah, it's now with a double slot. You hit loose with sixes or preserve Look, a yeah. Wow, that is a great it number. A great right. You preserve a prime and hit off a front, and now you want black to hit you back. Right? Yeah, you don't want to cover it. I don't. I don't think you. Uh, would you want to cover it? I mean, you could. I still don't think you do. I think you fish, right? I you think you go in. fishing. Yeah, I, think so too. I mean. Okay, you you, you do you do cover you do it. Okay, cover it, and right? the reason why this is also what made made the doubt come to my mind is that you can actually win a gammon because he's got four men still in the with the cross save so it right. is possible to win a gammon without catching more checkers four men left yeah that's right the, that's the thing here i mean if mochi had let's say two men left and then that's it gave, then you can go fishing you know that's the only way you can win that's a, gammon. a good point yeah with those crossovers he, he's key, winning 21 percent right? gammons good play peter very good play peter very very good play actually I suppose there's a little danger of entering a low, right? As well, and not getting a hit back and um, well, lose a game on double yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Ma and not saying. I mean, there's always a small risk for every point you have to roll your six pack. Mm. There's just, there just is, you know, <laughs> that's just the way it is. So it is safer to just play seven to one and just close him out. Uh, so it's always going to be the best way to win the game. Double six, double five, right? Six, double yeah. Five, six, okay. Four. Now we've got six, five, six, four, five, four. Double five. Most you save double five. Then huge, that's huge, big, huge, huge, big gammon saver. Yeah. yeah. No more gammons. Yeah. It's going to be a two-point win for Peter. 
Um, five away. Five away, nine five, away, yeah. Five away, nine away. Peter's looking very comfortable at that score. You know the match actually stand for, for that score? But not a five away, nine, nine away. Nine I'm away. okay with shorter matches. Yes, I'm pretty <laughs> Maybe good someone can put that in the chat for us, yeah. That would be nice if someone yeah. can put that in the chat. You know. Uh, yeah. the match equity at what? five away nine away yeah. i mean if i just if i could just remember neil's numbers <laughs> yeah <laughs> i used to i used to use that a lot when i played more longer matches uh but nowadays i play mostly just seven point matches or shorter mm. so i just memorize it you know i memorize all the match equities in a seven point match but five away you start to see the patterns don't you in in the table though like 15 yeah. 25 35 and close to 73 percent from that thank you Right. 73 okay ah, damn it he beat me to the punch i was about to say, <laughs> uh, say I, I was about to say 72. <laughs> he, he's on the yeah, he's got hot fingers on the keyboard yeah so. uh, close to 73 okay uh, uh, maybe it's 72 then that, that's uh i take yeah. the under but close to 73 percent okay good so that's the match equity here oh. um all right did you see any other good comments or questions in the chat? Um, a lot of stuff on Matt on comments here, yeah. And just some people saying they're enjoying the feed. So, yeah, we're 473 watching. So, I'll keep checking, guys. Put your comments in the box. Okay. Good split. Hidden Countering stand, the prime. yeah. Actually... No, I think it's I think it's okay to split with the three. I mean, incredible just, level of play, one point three seven. Yes, it's incredible. Just you know, a lot of games as well. It's basically every time Mochi had a decision, he came up with the right yeah. the right answer. Just seeing a candidate in plays there. Just oh, look at this one. Look, he's facing. Peter has an embryonic position, which means immediate weakness. So this good cube, Mochi. Oh, wow. And yes. Peter instant takes it. Early cube. And again, match score is important. That's now, right. right. Exactly. I mean, That's why it's a cube. Great that, cube from Mochi. Yeah. Peter I look has, now with a rack. I mean, it's. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is a great counter, right? That against that. Huge I mean, roll. huge. I mean. He just eliminates all of Mochi's offense. Yeah, with one that's good incredible. Yeah. Um, and now you slot, yeah, because he's not going to break the anchor to hit you, right? No, With yeah. Unless he rolls double two or something. It's and very, even, very easy to play 13 um, to 9 and push sharp up flexibility. Cube, yeah. Wick off a mark. You've got to be, you know, trigger ready when you're trailing. Sharp cube, yeah. Okay, 5 2. Just build structure, Peter. It's too dangerous. That to idea hit. of uh, the blot in front of a stripped point is uh, kind of a temptation, isn't it? You know, yeah. for the player. You know. Well, that's, it's, again, it's one of those moves that good players make. They preserve flexibility. Mm -hmm. yeah, they take small risks in order to preserve flexibility, and it's just yeah. a much smaller risk when you leave a blot in that's front of a stripped right. point. Yeah, you know, a lot of the time, why just won't hit in that position? Yeah, yeah. and as we saw, yeah. Peter rolled a five-two when he didn't hit. <laughs> yeah, no, that's he makes right, a point. Even. So it was actually for free. To put that okay, block double there. three wow. is great. What? How do we play it? How do we play it? You may have a four do, point I, I, board, I'm, right? I, you're not leaving any shots. Is, is that? I mean, are you oh, just, okay. is that okay? You oh, played no. that quite fast. There's some variations quick, here. Yeah, I mean, you could have also made this one and make the three. Well, being up in the race, maybe breaking the contact, right? To yeah, the, um, exactly. I don't know how much, but the race was. What was correct? 13. We're not sure. So. Okay, was this 13 pips? I think I like Peter's move. I think mm. I like Peter's move. Making the pure your structure deuces that's the first deuce okay two three and four yeah another accurate play by mochi by four okay i don't think we should pay now here and clear the 18 point i think that's too loose so how do we play it ten five six two okay nice yeah okay so the five has to go to the five. The, point. the five looks and then, looks clear, right? Yeah. Oh no, not this one, Peter. Why? That's no, too, ah, big, yeah. too big. Yeah. That's too big. That's yeah, too big. It's just he's chasing. You're leading, you're the, leading, and you're. Oh, that was a big one. He's chasing a gammon spot. Yeah. That's too big. That yeah. was the first blunder in many games from Peter. And Peter now Thompson. you know Black can pick up a second blot here, right? Yeah. Oh well, not yet. I, I mean, usually <laughs> that's a good I would, response. I would praise a gutsy play like that, but this was not the right time. You're facing the right on the other side of the board you're leading 10-7 you're owning a cube you could lose a gammon with that play mm. it Not was the, too big there yeah it was just too big and peter got 
back over for PR. It was the first blunder, I think, in maybe five or six games from Peter, though. Yeah. So he's been doing very well. Uh, Still a phenomenal level of play, yeah, really. For Mochi in particular, yeah. Yes, Mochi is just, just out of this world Yeah. level. It's just a level of focus, yeah. He doesn't miss things. Yeah. There's not a single lazy mistake in there. It's just razor sharp focus. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, well, I want to know what he's drinking or something, yeah. <laughs> something in his water. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. 13, 10, 13, 9. Right. What is he thinking about here? I mean, so, uh, he's going to leave a direct shot no matter what, right? So, uh, I don't know what he's thinking about. Is he thinking about 13, 10, 6 to 2? Mm. Ah, good play, Peter. That was good. good 6 play. 2 good just play. looks, oh, uh -huh. the last spare on a 6. You don't oh, want to. Oh, that's a big hit from Mochi. And the 3, I think you just saved you just the saved 3 and made shot. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Even though he wants to win a gamma, he that really wants to win a gamma. That was three, right? Being able it's, to. It's not even that far behind attacking. I mean, in money game, I think it's a big mistake to attack on the ace point, but at this score, it's not too big. Wow, two, three. Oh, I think we attack. You you attack right with so. a with a four point board. I yeah. Think so wow, it's close. Again, it's close. It's but because yeah. of the match score. It's close because of the match score. If Peter attacks, he could realistically lose a gammon. But if you just anchor up, you basically know it's highly unlikely that you lose a gammon. Mm. So yeah, that's a good play. Good play, Peter. Like Here you don't move. have a direct cover. You've got the sevens, right? But you um, don't have a direct cover. That's a bit annoying. Wow, Mochi three and four. this one, Mochi might he he he. You do he a double might, hit, he or, double you, hit here. or he you just hit. run. Okay, he said thirty nine. Thirty nine. Minimize shots. He's yeah, but double hit is low. against a four point board. It's too volatile. You don't want to. It's too volatile. Get gammoned here. It's, it's so much. I mean, it, 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 we've talked about this before, Dan. You use the inner board strength relationship. Yeah. Risk risk. Wow, Mochi makes this play. Okay, that's that's a mistake I, from Mochi, yeah. but it's a bold and gutsy play. And his error rate is still 1.39, so nothing dramatic. Well, that's and it. now the blitz is coming. Oh, wow. Now the blitz is coming. So we might see, like, uh, okay. okay, he anchors up, which is big there, yeah. yeah. Mochi's gonna go. Oh, 6 wow. 3, wow. He's yeah. Succeeded. So we might see a five point match on we, our hands, we might, right? We might. Yeah. Oh, wow. So what's One, six. Great wow. for flexibility there with a the stiff points. That was a really good roll by Peter Jess Thompson. Huge difference in terms of how many gamblers you lose. He's still yeah. in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's not ever but, woods yet. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It, right. I mean, he has a fighting chance here, and he's probably not going to lose a gamble. Okay. okay. Is that the? Yeah, it's the only way to not not leave a shot. Four three. Four, four, three. Yeah, let's. Um, four three. Um, you just keep going, right? You can't play five to two. Five to two is really ugly. It does yeah. minimize shots, but how many? Less shots is it actually? I, I don't, yeah. It's, uh, this is a mathematical question, right? It's, it's tactical. Okay, so mm -hmm. he, he chooses the inferior one. I, I don't blame I, him, you know. Uh, he, he, he doesn't want to get hit. But now here's the trouble. Now he's in trouble. Look at this. He could have played safe with this move mm -hmm. if he had played, uh, to the, to the. Any to hit here point, is right? critical, right? That's yeah. Right. It's really critical. 5 2, yeah, is just there. <laughs> We won. Oh, they stopped the clock. Okay. Oh, that was a mistake by the transcriber. Okay. Oh, we're, on, we're on the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, there was a transcri transcriber mistake here. He must have... Oh, it goes way back. We, we have to go back a couple of moves here. He came out with 4-3. This was a 4-3. Yeah, he, in, he in put in a 5-3. And it was supposed to be a 4-3. Yeah, I think... Here, four three. There we go. Okay, they corrected that very fast. And and okay. At, oh, then then it was might have been a smaller mistake by Mochi not playing that one. But he got in trouble with a five four, and then Peter misses the shot. Mm -hmm. And uh, this could be it for Mochi. You know, he wants to roll that deuce and win the gammon. There's the deuce from Mochi. Wow. wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. looks like Gammon City. Gammon City. 
Peter's in trouble. That's the three. That's the two. Bring, bring him in. Yeah. Yeah, Peter is in big trouble here. 5 4 for Mochi. Okay. For the next point game. What's the gammon right here? It must be sky high. 60%. Okay, I don't think Mochi should be aggressive here. Yeah, just take his slow. Just, just just, yeah, right. He has 6 5. He's a terror, though, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's. He, but I mean, it, it would be bad either way. There, there you go. Okay. 6 4. That, the 6 5 danger is out of the way. Yeah. Double one. Mochi just wants to clear from the rear against the ace point game. We call it an ace point game when the enemy is just sit, sitting there waiting to hit a shot. And typically what you want to do is just play safe and clear from the rear and avoid giving yourself any bad numbers. You want to, you know, have some good freeze, right, as well. Yeah. You can work over danger numbers. I think he walls, he did some stuff on danger rolls when you're bearing in. Okay. Okay. And looking good for Mochi. So far, he's, his bear off has been flawless, both in terms of dice and movements. 3 2, okay. Two and okay. And a yeah, a little bit stripped, but. Six force and excellent wow. shot. Some BGs excellent. here. There, there is actually. I think Peter has to get out of there now. He, yeah. is, he immediately identifies the danger of losing a backgammon 5 4. I mean, this yeah. is a coup classic. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> if, if Mochi rolls an ace. We could get to see the coup classique. But if he rolls a double, <laughs> he might that would a, be huge, he might right? A, I mean, in a double here. I mean, yeah. Mochi doesn't want to roll an ace and leave a double shot here. Okay, good. Okay. Mo wow. So Mochi, I mean, even if he gets hit, he has like 96%, uh, 94%. Okay, wow, he got off the uh, yeah, He baby. got off the gammon. He didn't hit, but he got off the gammon. So now, five way, five way, right? Five point match. Very exciting. And, you know, take point lower in five point matches, right? Uh huh. Wait. Super exciting. Yeah. We've got the opening ceremony coming up in one hour and a half. So hopefully. What time this uh, starts? Seven, seven, seven. Seven. Okay. Cool. This is huge, right? Five way, five way. It really? Is. Now it's really cubes really come into play here. Yeah. And uh, massive under such a matter of yeah. lot in terms yeah. of winning chances here. Is that but here, uses? because the take point is lower, you can wait longer to cube, right? You can cube a bit later. Oh, no, no. It, de it, it depends. Uh, it, it, if it's a gammonless position, the take point is actually deeper. Mm. So it means you have to, uh, you can wait a bit later. Yeah, you're right. It, it's, it's harder to lose your market mm. in a gammonless position because you don't want your opponent to get to four away or you don't want you know it does it's not so much risk to to let him get two points instead of having one point but if it's gammon full then it's a higher take yeah drop uh, more in blitzes yeah, take more in races as exactly. daniel says yeah yes. that's it absolutely that's it, yeah. yeah drop more in blitzes take more in races that's exactly right yeah uh okay so mochi is about to make a mistake here no he corrects himself that's the play we have a we're facing that advanced anchor. You uh, always, you know, point here, so. symmetry. You know, if your opponent has an anchor, you want an anchor in return, right? But you the thing fight is, for an anchor. I mean, it, it does. Really you need to it. split here, yeah. That, that's the problem. Mochi didn't split the back checkers. He, he, offensively, it looks good. It's efficient, but he didn't split the back checkers. And right now, he's losing the anchor yeah. war. Look at the positions of those anchors there. He's, he needs to get those back You need to going. get them moving, and now 6 5, you that's, have that's to run, reinforce a mid. Great shot. Great shot. Also, a good shot by Peter, building his 5 point. Okay, 2 1. Mochi cannot allow to leave a shot here. He has to clean up that You block just shift on the 8, yeah. So right. I guess you just shift. Okay, small mistake. 13 11 7 6. Yeah, it's okay. It's. Uh, Barely in okay, state. you can clear the mid now with the, with the anchor, right? It loses value when you have a 20 point. So um, you just... Yeah, yeah, I mean, Hello. it's it's just more more just to keep flexibility, keep your checker utilization high. There Hold you go. Three, that's a perfect runner. 
Look at this. He can wow, get full freedom. Big. And he's going to be up 10 pips. Not quite. Seven, yeah. Oh, seven pips. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But great roll by Mochi. Now Mochi has the upper hand in this position, playing the one man. And again, we've seen like another holding game, but again, not but, even close to yes. the cube with and a race. Yeah. Holding games but, are similar to races. Very little gammon, if any. So... Well, white has grey contact with a six point held. The eleven point is, you know, that's um, yeah, yeah, exactly. A, a my, my point was just that uh, we're not going to see any cube anytime soon. No, no, no he way. Needs to get yeah. a big racing. Uh, yeah, I mean, you need he doubles because it's even easier for Peter to take at this score. That's than right. This yeah. Well, that's it with a low take point. Yeah. Yes, sure. very low take point at yeah. the, at the five away, five away because yeah. it doesn't matter that you give your opponent an extra point to let him get to three away. Four away is the key score in, in match play. That's where, that's the most special score of all. Yeah, a lot of close decisions, but you like making a four, keeping the board strong, yeah. Yeah. It's one of those times where he's not going to get a shot, a fly shot here, so he could just go for long-term strength and slot something. You know, right. He doesn't need the immediate strength in the position. Or two. So again, because a race is pretty much equal, you really want to keep that 11 points, right? To, to stop him rolling yes, a, a great secret. 100%. Yeah, when the but race is this equal, e equal, priming still holds a lot of value. It's one of the, the huge, ideas from, yeah. from Masterclass. That's it. The, the functionality of a point, and it's very much a function of a race. When the race is close, you want to keep the points. That's because it. Because you want to prime. But if black was further ahead, then that 11 point would be a liability, right? You'd That's wanna... right. Then you need to clear. Mm, but here, yeah. it's such a... It's actually a little bit of a... It's very unclear who's actually... in. Who, who does the contact favor here? Yeah, who's holding who, right? Who's holding who? <laughs> yeah. And here, white is really running out wow. of timing, though, That's right? A, That's an awkward roll. I guess much. I mean, you can't leave a shot against the close. You can't. Home board. You, you hate to break this. the boards, right? But you, you yeah. can't do leave a no, shot there. You, yeah, you just can't. But it is, it is very ugly to bury all those checkers on oh, the ace. Look point. at this. A uh, black is having some difficulty. Oh, there's the shot. So how do we do this? Uh, how do we do this? Do we just minimize shot? Minimize shot. You just leave eleven, right? With if the you ace. Do something else. I mean, it's an awful lot of shots with any other play. But any hit here is. Gin, yeah, and you yeah. know what? It's kind of nice to block him out here. Yeah, because right, because exactly. He's about to crunch something. You know, he can yeah. cr either crunch his anger or he crunches his homeboard. So this is actually the wrong idea by Mochi. I, it's I, the wrong idea. It's a wrong idea. Yeah, uh, almost a blunder from Mochi. Oh, that's a cube. Interesting. Sixteen pips. Is that I guess, I guess it's a cube. I guess it's a good cube, actually. But I wonder would there have the been a cube after the correct play there, right? Question. Maybe we didn't um, get to see the equities. with extra holding, yeah. We didn't get to see the equities, and, and Mochi can't really recube immediately. Has an Aussie twang. <laughs> this is a Birmingham accent for you. <laughs> I've been told before I sound a bit Aussie, yeah. Okay, Mass is good cube, yeah. Oh, he's blocked. The prime uh, works, you know, look at this. The prime works, and even though Mochi is ahead in the pip count, the race is actually quite even well, because of all of the wastage. Right. Wow, that is huge! Absolutely killer. That's a destroyer. We're gonna see a recube next time, unless Peter can roll a double five or double six. I don't even. Oh, double prime works oh, again. Double two is terrible. You can't even get past. Yeah, this is a double and a pass. Yeah. No wait, is it a pet? Yeah, it is a pet. Yeah, pass. fourteen pips up and it is a pass. nothing, pass. right? Six one, six two, five. Yeah. Uh, so Mochi made a small Oof. mistake there. Peter played flawlessly, basically. Yeah, three point four, one point seven. Okay. What a sequence! Yeah, it really that was. double four is uh, all of a sudden. Just... Mochi is lead leading the match. Mochi needs to remember to put the points on the scoreboard. Okay, three way, five away. Yeah, there's some interesting cubes, cube decisions here. Right. Nice, solid. Double three. Yeah, you come up and you come down. Pretty standard. You really like that five points, right, of a score, right? You know, oh, wow, yeah. It's, it's just huge, right? Stops, huge. why make an advanced anchor? Well, he has, but not the fire. 
I'm... <clears throat> Five, three. So Peter can be more aggressive, right? Here Definitely. with the cube. Oh, yes. and, and again, the take point is still low of a five, three way, five wave of five. Wow, look at this one. Uh, yeah. Maybe he shouldn't go for attack here because the cube is in the middle. 2111. So why, why would you increase volatility? You want to just cruise into a certain cube. Yeah. And that's, that's, what it. We're seeing. yeah. that's what we're seeing. Yeah. If the cube had been turned, okay, we might consider it doing might be, something. That's we might right. Consider yeah. Blitzing, or, but to be honest, it's difficult to blitz here because you're, you have such good availability, both you, running and making the fight. You're points. just stabilizing, right? Do you yeah. make the Do you make the point here, or do you keep the contact? I think he needs to make the point yeah. to just not lose a gammon. And yeah. isn't this a cube? I think I, mm. 16, but again, he's got a lot of points to clear, well, right? You and know what? This is gammonless, and it's very easy for Mochi to take this cube. So maybe yeah. Peter is right in not doubling it. Yeah. I think he's right, actually. Now the race just got more close, so it's and definitely not slot. a double. It's can double after making a five point. Yeah, that's often critical, right? A five point can really swing kind of cube decisions. Yeah. White still has a. Um, I like this play. I like this play. And Mochi is. Uh, double six is blocked. Oh, double Very six. But Mochi God. is still a great role for Mochi. You need to keep the mid here, right? You need that kind of well, connectivity here. You would prefer to, but maybe yeah. you can't because you, you can't. Maybe you have to let it go. But it seems that there is a play. Okay, you can keep it. You don't have to break the mid. Yeah, that's a way to preserve flexibility. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think if Black was on a 20 point, then the mid can go more easily. But um, he, he had some playable numbers. Is that a double checkers. five? Wow. Wow, it's a double five. Okay. Okay, that is solid. That, so that, now. We, we, depending on the race, but Peter might have a cube next time. But that Mochi just rolled double six. Yeah, so. we're right in the kind of. What, what's what the is this? Six pips? It's this? still too close, right? We need. No, but I think it's that's, not before, six, it, uh, that's before the move. So I think it's going to be up 14 after the move. I think it's going to be up 14. Yeah, yeah. so we're right so in the window five, here. Four. Wow, Mochi has oh a hit, but this God. is an action roll. Wow, this is an big. action roll. You, you have to, right? What? Play to win. But if, if just if Peter had a stronger home board, he might even be able to double from the bar, but not this. 3-6. Three, three, six. Six. I guess you just get the hell out of you there, You just right? jump. Yeah, yeah. you've got to go, right? I you gonna, so. You I can't think, stay yeah. there. It's it's very dangerous to stay here on the three-point. Just jump. Yeah. To the other side of the avalanche, it's actually a clear play. It's a clear play. Yeah, the avalanche, play. like that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, he's got an avalanche yeah. that's about to fall into your yeah. face here. <laughs> yeah, you got to get good. to the other side of it. Okay. 6-1, Mochi misses. Peter's he, feeling good about himself right now. The race... He really doesn't... 7-1-5-4, yeah, you... Okay, interesting. You just kept that guy there and just made the board. Okay, now he has a decision. Are we going to attack, which will leave a shot, or is he just going to play it safe, wait on, wait for a better moment? Yeah. That's a really, really tough decision. That's a tough here. one, yeah. And if you hit, how do you hit? I guess this is the best hitter. Yeah, you just leave 12 shots. You it's make very cl Oh, no. But, you know, getting... Good. Oh, he didn't hit. He didn't yeah, hit. Yeah, it's a blunder. It's a blunder. But I mean, it was a tough I, decision. I, yeah. I wish he would have spent more time on it. You right, know, he's got. Was, sorry, he's got three and a half minutes left. Not too much. They have to play fast. But that was a really tough decision. Mm. That was a really tough decision. And Peter just made a blunder. What if we got four three? Right, it makes a. Yeah, sure. Solid six. But now Peter's hoping for a better way to attack, and he doesn't really Again, get though, it. he can attack, but now it's yeah. super risky, right? Yeah, I mean, are we playing? Are we going to play six? We're going to bury a checker with six to two now? It's, it's close though, they hit, right? Even against... It's very close. I mean, it's obviously hitting is the best way to win the game. But you could lose a gammon when you Much hit. is blot as well in board is a liability there, right? To, yeah, not so much, the, because he's got the six prime done, you know, it's... Uh, incredibly strong he doesn't have too oh, much you time you don't want black to escape here though right that's so the thing. hit is strong the, the yeah hit is strong that's it's definitely the I best mean, way to win like, the game you leave 13 13 shots out of 36 by hitting uh so and you leave as many to escape pretty oh, much right no, I I, this again i mean we oh, haven't no. counted but black escapes with maybe as many rolls so here we go i solved it
That's all that. Okay, so uh, he's burning precious time here, Peter. But I, I, I like that he takes his time because this is a big decision for the yeah, match. It's a really, really big decision. He should have done it last time as well and just found the hit. Okay, he's looking at the hit. I don't mind it, Peter. It's a gutsy play. I don't mind it at all. I mean, okay. hit back so. I mean, there's Gavin's on the hit back, right? That's, that's a mean, problem. Yeah. That's a problem. <laughs> you don't want... That's a problem. It's also... Uh, a little bit of overkill because the cube is in the middle because mm. Mochi dances here and he hits. Wow. wow a big and, uh, swing in the match. Got two blots to pick oh, up. Yes. Oh, yes. But a gutsy play by Peter. I definitely. Yeah. Uh, That's a money player, right, in him going for yes. maybe. Going, going for the win, you know. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the play. Uh, Another thing about cubeful equity is that, that actually we saw the equities being rather close in terms of cubeless equity. I think his move was much better. The problem is when you hit and he dances, you create a little bit of overkill because it's such a big pass for Mochi that it's not so efficient, you know. Um, mm. So here, the cover, it's better to play 8-1 to one right there to okay. cover the ice. Okay, so he gets a little bit of pri counter prime potential. He yeah, really needs a, a pure prime right now. So he needs to fit. He needs Mochi to enter with an ace, and then he needs to fill out the gaps in his prime. Yeah, that's, that's it, isn't it? Order. Yeah, it's that's what he's hoping for—a low entry and. Um, yeah, which is PR has gone up a little bit. He's up at a two. It's very swingy this one, yeah. So Mochi is considering: is this too good? I think it's still too good. I mean, it seems it's to me kind that of we've like got a free roll, isn't it's it? I mean, a free like, roll. Yeah, very well, little risk here. What can go wrong? Yeah, good. I think it's a good decision by Mochi. So we've got yeah. an ad for the Backgammon Galaxy app. Go to App Store, search on Backgammon Galaxy, download the app, start collecting those cool boards and avatars that you can unlock with experience points and points. So, wow, White just really needs to. Get off yeah. the G. Yeah. Yes, yeah. now he's in damage control mode. Mochi is still cruising on too good to double. Uh -huh. This is a clever hit because he can freeze up Peter's outfield checkers, pick up that second guy, and then win a gamma. Yeah, don't, don't, or I don't think Peter should. Yeah, I think this yeah, is the play, right? Good, Just yeah. Gamma save. save, yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. Save the no. gamma. And Mochi doesn't need to move the checker on the 16 point. Just stay there. Yeah, just be annoying, you know. Stay there on the 16 <laughs> point. It's just got to, you know, just wait there, fishing. Just sitting there, yeah, squeezing, yeah. squeezing your enemy. Wow, the hit is correct. I mean, he, he does have a counter priming for chance here, you know. If Mochi rolls yeah. an ace and, and Peter makes the seven or the four point, he does have a counter priming potential. Right. Yeah, it's true. a good play. Yeah, very it's nice, a very actually. Nice yeah. play. He has a small chance of winning. And it's, I mean, it's still too good. Mochi, there's actually some gambles here, right? Mochi yeah, goes a 4-5. Sure. Uh, okay, he cashes the position. He didn't want to drag it on anymore. I think technically it was still a little bit too good to double. Mm. But probably not too big of a deal. He settles for the point. Yeah. Two away, five away. So, wow, here are we going to... Uh, yeah, so two away, five away. Yeah, right. Got to see some aggressive cubes on Peter. Oh, this God. this this match equity we know, right? It's twenty five percent. Yeah, for Peter Jess Thompson. So he wants to be aggressive. Mochi wins the opening, and he's you just, can do the fifteen percent, twenty five percent, thirty five percent, right? One away, five away, two away, five away, three away, five away. It's a, like a little pattern in the in the chart. Uh huh. So. Okay, he and he chooses to he run. makes a run, which is normally have a DMP play, right? You just yeah. oh, with a match lead. So now Mochi is is briefly considering slotting the six to five, but he correctly just spits the. So back Black chase. really wants wow. like a, an anchor here, advanced anchor. Yeah, good, good six, and now he can come out with the six. Yeah, oh, sorry, a good two. I mean to hit, and then he can come out with the six. Yeah, the hit is clear, and it's, then it's, the it's six, six is also pla clear. plays itself. Yeah, sure. 
And Peter just needs a little oh, whiff what? of a gammon in order to s turn the cube. Yeah, that's it. But, and uh, uh, it's kind of getting there. <laughs> so far, Mochi has done well. Wow, Mochi is doing great really well. This is great play. Great on stacking. Yeah. And what about the last ace? The splitting is good when you're facing a prime formation. And Mochi says, I'm not scared of this at all. I don't think it's a blitz formation. I think well, you have a prime. Well, look at this. Double two. Do wow. you split? I mean, you hit for sure. You hit off a of front, yeah. And the yeah. question is, do you switch or do you hit loose? And the more you're behind in the race, the more you inclined you are to hit loose. If you're ahead in the race, no, nah, no. Oh, hit. you've got a hit I in think, some way, surely, I I, yeah. I, I think I like this play because he's still a little I bit know. behind in the race. I mean, my see a cube, right? I, I wish we could see the analysis for the hint for that move, but we didn't get to see. But I, I don't think Peter's PR went up, so I think he made the right play. Yeah. But I'm not sure because I didn't get to see the hint. Okay, Mochi uh, or Peter rolls a 3-1. That's not a good roll. Step up with both, yeah. This is nice. You yes. get hit and then you can anchor higher, right? It's, I think it's the only yeah. one. The only play. 6-5, Mochi, you run, right? Yeah, Yeah, great run there. Difficult wow. to lose a gammon with one man back behind the prime. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one is good. Look, Peter keeps playing pure. I like Again, it. Again, flexible and yeah. efficient use of the checkers on the yes. midpoint. Yeah. He doesn't get tempted by hitting on the ace point. Okay, now the critical moment in the game. Wow, this Peter is needs to hit, otherwise we have a one-way holding game. And he okay, does Okay, big hit, yeah. He does hit. Three, and, and then maximizes, maximizes covers. Yeah, you can... Great oh, shot from like Mochi. Any dance there was oh, a, a it big was cube, a, yeah. That would have been a cube, yes. Yeah. Mochi takes none of it. This is now why he really needs to come in and do I, something, perform. I like the, I like the deuce. And okay, a hit, gonna, yeah. Gonna, another hit. I like Mochi's deuce here, you know, playing uh, 7 to 5. Nice, because he's just yeah. keeping his blood count down. He doesn't introduce any unlock, unlocky sequences. 2 4, what? What else could he do? Yeah, what but I'm just he thinking do? he should slow down a bit, you yeah, know, because yeah. it's getting volatile. And but but look at their time bank, you know, they don't have too much time left. Yeah, I, I don't see any other play than this, Peter. I like. Oh, Peter, it, it was a mistake. Oh, it was a mistake. Oh, he could have made the eight point. He could have made the eight point. Ah, uh, yeah. Why PR just went up. It was probably a blocker. Oh, yes. And you could have had more contact down here. Peter might be getting into time trouble. The time pressure is on. That's yes. right. You can see it. They it, even the dice shaking is getting more kind of rigorous. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But like I said earlier, Peter is kind of famous for his double quick four. dice shaking. You know, he just quick, quick, bam, rolls the dice. But look at this: two on the bar. Two on the bar. I mean, this he's got a, he's got the safety of the anchor, but this, still, it's this could be it. Not looking good. Mochi is winning a gammon here. If he rolls a six, he can. Wow, there's a six. Mochi is in gammon territory here. Yeah. Obviously, he's going to hit with a six. And then he, I mean, for whatever reason, drags it out. You don't want to give a, do a good double four, right? So you keep that. <laughs> well, yeah. you get an extra builder. It's just one <laughs> no. number. But I, uh, you know. I, I don't think I would have. I don't think I would have done it. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. This looks a little bit like the position where Sander rolled the backhand double oh, four double last year. Oh, double it. six. That's it. That's the best Game roll. over. <laughs> the best oh, roll. This is it. I mean, this is just... Wow. Wow. Mochi. Playing yeah. like a world champ. Peter was all the way down to 3.2 just a couple of moves ago. Yeah, and, and Peter uh, was leading this match for the first yeah. par, wasn't he? Uh -huh. You know, so... Yeah. He got his PR down, and now it went up again with the last couple of it's been a mistakes. Okay, Mooch is not leaving double four. That seems clever. I think you just take it home, don't you? No, um... 6-1. I mean, you just want to play flexible here. Yeah, this one, and then 11-5. to five. I, I don't really see much else. I like, though, it's, it's meticulous, right? Yeah, you know, slowing course. down and... Of course. 3-1, okay, that's the 3, what about the ace, okay, yeah, why not, right, why, why, why yeah, complicate things is, here, um, Mochi looks like he's gonna win a gammon, I think we play 5-3 five to, five to three here, yeah. I think that's the play, yeah, I think that is the play, this gives you more future flexibility, at least it seems to me that that's the case, that's not the best, that's not the best. Yeah. So now we have a little bit of awkwardness going on over here. 
Six two, yeah. Two bad rolls, six two, and some high doubles. Yeah, that's it, yeah. A total of five bad numbers, but he doesn't get it. Okay. Also, it. Uh, now we're back to just two bad numbers, namely six two. That's two out of thirty six dice combinations. Double aces. He's gonna clear from nine. the rear, and he's gonna take off a checker. Yeah. Right. Easy peasy. This doesn't look good for Peter. This Just does not look good, and really very. Such a high stakes match, right? Yeah, I mean, swing. like, gosh. sixteen player tournament. So it's just four matches to uh, win eighty k. So who's left in this uh, after? How many players I, after? I didn't. We didn't get the we, didn't get briefed. Yeah. By the tournament staff. Well, look at this uh, now. Oh, oh wow! wow. The match. Yeah, match to Machi. Well done, match. Machi, and great match, guys. It was a cool match. A very cool yeah, match. Very enjoyable. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Well, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm the thank thankful one, Dan. Thanks so much, so much for joining us. Here. Yeah. Great. Uh, anytime. Once again, uh, subscribe to Dan's YouTube channel. Channel Bagaman is beautiful. Yeah. Um, and if uh, you want to come on as a guest, then just hit me up. You know. Come on in for an interview or a chat. <laughs> good. Cool, Mark. Great work. Good. Good stuff. So I guess uh, the opening ceremony is uh, soon. Is it going to be at seven o'clock? Yeah.